Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is a new episode of the Guerrero Grow Show. This is a garden community show. This is a cannabis community show. This is a growing show. This is a growing community show. This is a growing spiritually and physically and mentally and all the above. That's what we do here. You are, if you grow cannabis or you grow plants, you are a part of the community. So let's start going. I am Chris Guerrero, and the voices in my head are the voices in my head. So um, let's get the show on the road and the road on the show. Here we go. Copy, paste. There it is right there. Boom. All right. Mm. I like steak. Oh, what am I doing? That's not what I was wanting to do. All right, here we go. Here we go. That's not what I want. I want this right here. View your channel. There it is, right there. And can link. All right. <coughs> Today I am smoking on the Mac One Space Cheese so I could get my rant on. So I could get my rant going. Ma pa pa. Ma. Did you want me alone? Oh, shit, that's the voices in my head. Sorry, guys. Voices in my head are doing Cartman. Voices in my head. Voices in my head. Yes. Yo, kitty. I kind of sound like the aliens from fucking uh, Mars when Mars attacks. <laughs> yeah, where you at, Ed, dude? All right, I guess it's a slow start today. What's up, why? Slow start today. All right. Who should I invite on the show today, ladies and gentlemen? What the hell did I do with my phone? Oh, it's in my pocket. Oh, I can't I can't do this. Too many voices in my head. Oh, dude, I can't do that. Sorry guys. I had to turn you guys off. Anyways. Uh yesterday I was watching a couple shows. Uh one was uh Rebel Grown. And uh here we go. Let's get him over. 
War of Logo. Oh yeah, let's uh come to you all the way from the great state of Connecticut. It's a state, right? Connecticut's a state? Or is it a province, a town? Oh, it's a state, it's a state, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, coming all the way from the great state of Connecticut, let's give a warm welcome to Big John! Hold on. There we go. We have another guest. Come to you all the way. From Southern California, all the way from the Sultan Sea, the co-owner of Sultan Sea Seeds, let's give a warm welcome to There we go. You gotta choose better music. All right. So, yes. So, yes. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, I was watching Rebel Grow yesterday. I want to show you something. Let me show you guys something real quick. So, you guys know. That I smoked that double OG chem and that shit is fire. It's really potent. Okay. So don't fuck around. If you want, if you don't want something potent, do not fuck with this shit. Okay. Cause like it had me tripping and shit. You know what I'm saying? What is it? So what is it? right here, rebel grown. I had the double, o, double OG chem and shit. That What's shit's it? potent as fuck. All right. So don't fuck around with it. If you don't want to fucking, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to fuck your day off. Don't fuck around with this shit right here. That double OG cam, man. That's some potent ass shit. All right. So double OG cam. Let me show you when I got it. I think I have it right here. Hold on. Let me go over to my, because I was looking for it. I was like, where the fuck is that video at of me getting the double OG cam? All right. Hold on. Let me go to it. Double OG cam video. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Videos. Oops. There it is. Double OG cam video, double OG cam. Video. Yeah, didn't I just watch a Rebel Grown um, interview the other day? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, went, I okay. saw him over at the over at the uh, place. Hold on, let me go to down by it. the river. Down by the river. Let me go over there. Let me find it. Here he is. There it is. There it is. There he is. Down Where by is the river. Down by the river. Okay, hold on. Let me find it. There it is. Okay, I got it. All right. Here it is. You Let's got go. It. Share. Present. Share screen. Windows. This one. Share. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, shit. Is it a silent video? Oh, you got to hear it? No, no. We got no, we got no sound. Sounds Fuck. like it's a silent video to me. Yeah, it sounds like a silent video. Thought maybe my ears weren't All working, right. but I checked them and they're working. Oh. Uh. All right. So you guys can you hear it? Nope. Can't okay, hear. Okay. So all right. Let me go back. I got it. All right. I have to do it like this. Let me do it again. Coffee. Oh, 
Yeah. You know, King Pounds and the Stradley Roots. We're helping all the farmers in the Emerald Triangle. We're based Can you in hear it now? County. Yes. Yes, we can. We help all the farmers. So we have uh, a bunch of different strains. We have Rebel Dan with his double OG camp. We got a lot of work. That's what I got right there. there. And I had that mo your mom's wheat. That shit was good too. From them. Who are you? Free Daddy. <laughs> what do you do? I just started working with these guys recently. All my life. Ice cream cake. Wait. All right, there it is right there. Yep, 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 yep. That was when I got the double OG chem right there. That was it. That was the day. Yeah, it was a short video. Was that recently, Chris? Yeah, yeah. I just want so let me, let me put it this way. That way you guys know that I'm not talking out my ass when I said I got the double OGM. I was talking about last year when I was smoking on it and shit. Um, so yeah, or the year year before that, I guess, because it was in it was in like what what was it, November of uh, of last year and shit. So yeah, so right here, Rebel Grown. Right there, I kept the jar. I kept the jar because the jar's blacked out and shit. You know what I'm saying? I love the jar. It's so, a nice jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I like it's it. It's a nice jar. It's a nice jar. And he likes it. I like the jar. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, re reduce, reuse, recycle, right? Use that for. Uh, yes. For your I reading, think you know? Jesus. Uh, Je Jesus. Yes. Jesus yes, it does. Says. Yes, it does. Yes. Yes, it does. When you eat snackies and you don't pay attention to what snackies you eat because you're high as hell and you don't eat carrots or celery and shit for snackies. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It does contribute to to, to moobs. And that's man, man boobs. boobs. Man, man boobs. boobs. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So yes, in the way in, in the way it does. Got to get on your it, If you weren't to eat snackies after you blaze, then no, it doesn't. If you're to smoke and then you fucking go work out, no, it doesn't contribute. But yes, if you're sitting on your ass playing video games, playing a RPG game, and then feeding your face and not getting up off the couch, then yes, it does It'll catch help up to contribute you. to man boobs. Well, yes. Got to work your body. If you're going to be sitting on the couch... And playing video games, and you have a fucking uh, a, 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 what is it called? A, one of those bicycle things in your living room. You can play the video games while riding your bicycle. That's what I do. <laughs> or two TV. birds with one stone. I wish they had that at fucking at uh, the YMCA, dude. Mm -hmm. If I could play video games at the same time as walking. Holy shit, dude. That would be sick. I would walk all the time. Yeah. I would I would be over there playing play whatever game that I would be playing. Playing Fortnite. Yes. Yes, I did a good job at swimming today. Like I was telling uh, I'm good. whoever this morning, I was like, uh, I fucking didn't notice. Uh, I did not notice that. Oh, yeah, it was Bob. Bob. I was telling Bob, one of the guys down at the Y, he's, he was an ex-radio uh, star. 
and stuff. Oh, well, he's retired, I should say. He's a retired radio personality. Everybody knows him, Bob Kellerman. He has the the lunchtime cafe uh, here on the on the Eagle here in Sacramento. Uh, but I was telling him yes, it's one of your local like, radio stations, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um, I was I was telling him that uh, that I had a good workout because it, well, I didn't like beat any times. I just didn't. I didn't like look at my watch until I was like. Uh, I looked at it once when it was like I had 900 and then I looked at it again and I had 1500 yards and I was like, Oh shit, I got 12, I got 12, 12 legs to go. So I was like, cool. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty much done with my workout before I even was like, Oh, okay. You were in the zone, in the zone. I was in the swimming zone. zone. And, And I'm telling you guys, if you're not out there swimming, you're doing yourself a disservice. Support your Water. local YMCA. Water is good. Yeah, dude. For stoners, it is, dude. No, really, seriously. Like those really. water molecules, you know. Just like how taking a shower just makes you feel good. Yeah. It's not just because you're clean. It's like that water, you know. Water. Yeah. You, we are water. You love so. it. Yep, you, you will love it. it. You're gonna Let like it. Oh. Let me see if my I'm gonna look up on my shit and see if my only. saltwater pool only. I'll never kill a clown in my body with the chlorine. Then you got to go put a dirty shirt on to make it all come back. So you got to go put one of your dirty shirts on to bring back that. Is that why? Is that why my biome is still here? Yeah, you got to put your dirty shirt back on every time. That that I'm always that I'm always wearing a dirty shirt. Yeah, I do it for my biome. I know I I do it for my biome. That's a good reason, right? Lie. Just go around for a little, home, a little dust bath like the birds do. You know, they, they, they yeah, yeah. I do it for my bio. Yeah, roll around yeah, in that, the that's dirt. That's what they're quick. doing. Yeah. They're they're, they're yeah. increasing their microbiome. So that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Roll around in the dirt. Yeah, that that chlorine kills everything. So, and you know they they fucking chlorine the shit out of the Y pools. They should. I hope they do. I wouldn't want to swim in that water if they didn't. <laughs> I mean, that's fucking. <laughs> You be swimming in everybody else's biome. Fuck that. Yeah, man. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see <laughs> if there's a shared a biome at the Y. You know. Um, sir, I don't need to share biome with everybody. What do you think happens when you get on that 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 sweaty, um, you know, exercise bike or exercise machine at the gym? You know. Well, hopefully that the people uh, get, wipe no, it down they never the wipe. Well, you know, I don't you know, know no one in <laughs> years. <laughs> Over 20 years. <laughs> I just have free weights at home. Shit. I've never went to the gym for that reason. I don't want to. He doesn't like the sweaty balls. The sh- sweaty, sweaty bike seats. Uh, the Alec Baldwin skit on Saturday Night Live. Sweaty balls. Oh, who you first on the way? It's a book. What the hell is going on? Dude. 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 
smoke. Mm -hmm. There it is. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I didn't. My, I ordered a new weed whacker, and it's not on its way yet. And it's supposed to be here tomorrow. It's first world problem. So we, we'll, yeah, we will see. First world problem. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see <laughs> <some> fucking tomorrow. <laughs> you order from Bezos? No, 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 not a Bezos order. Home, no, the home of depots. Ah, the home of the pose. And I'll tell you right now, if they, if I'll, I'll be the first one to tell you guys if they fucking lie. So why if you, you go pick it up from there, what the heck? Why do you think? Why do you think? I don't know. I don't know. We they live only have the, the because they don't have the fucking item. And then order it and then pick it up. And what store. I want. They Should've said it was gonna be. They said it was gonna be the same amount of time. You could have got it from Walmart for cheaper, same so, item. So, hey, 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 not, not unless same they item. have fucking unless they have Ryobi. They order anything, literally any item you want. Yeah, any item. Well, I'm, I'm anything. saying any item. If you bring it to them, they will order it for you, and they'll you pick it up from Walmart. Yeah, I don't go to Walmart. Like I said, it was a. Uh, and the reason why I say I don't go to Walmart is because I have to pass three targets to get to a Walmart. Target? Yeah, Everybody so, loves Target. Yeah, so why would I burn target, really? all the money yeah. that I would save? All the money I would save going to Target, I mean, going to Walmart, I would be spending in gas. And then, yeah, so. If Walmart and Target were across the street... <laughs> I don't know what, which one I would go to. I, would they don't have I guess I'd be. Thing. We have a mm -hmm. Walmart and a Target and almost every shopping center like, where I used to live. Yeah, they don't. They're not like that here in, in Sacramento. In the county, they could be like that, but there's no Walmart. Boom, boom, boom. There's no Walmart in Sacramento City proper. All people on the road right across from each other, literally. Like looking at yeah, each yeah. other almost. Yeah. 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 No. We, yeah. Right no, down the so, highway too. Go right down the highway and you got one on one side. Yeah, we don't have there. that. Walmart on one side. Target right down the street from it. Kohl's. All the shit right in a row. Fucking like they, 30, 40. They know, they know what they're doing. They're they're latching on to the other store's foot traffic and, you know. Yeah. They know they're yeah. coming out for that fast one store food, that we're going to right across so the street. Got, we're going to capture that, that business, you know. Yeah, you got all the strip malls in front of that with fast food. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 yep. boom, boom, they got to eat, truck. right? Gas stations yeah. will pop yeah. up. Yeah. Here and in the Sacramento, the of that. it's oh, not like yeah. that. It's yeah. not. So, yeah, so you built the desert nice. That shit's wild. You don't got to go nowhere. Just right in the middle of the desert. You got it all right there. Like an it's oasis. A sun bus. Sun bus. It's $1 and you can get anywhere in 30 minutes, 40 minutes in the desert. Like $1. They'll take you there. 
It's fucking what's the best? Without a car, it's the best. Shit. <laughs> Forty-five minutes. That's the sound of the police. <clears throat> I miss that place where I live now sucks. <laughs> where I live now sucks. There's no public transportation. There's no none of the stuff I just said. We don't have none of the stories like that. All right. Let's see who we can get on the show. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't have to deal with people, I guess, at all. I don't have to worry about city ordinance, about how many dogs I have. I don't have to worry about what my yard looks like. I don't have to worry about none of that shit. Yeah, where I live. That's the nice thing of living out. I don't have yeah. to deal with all that. But then I see like my neighbor's house when you do go out like on a little golf cart ride, and you see like all the other houses look like total fucking shit. And you're like, oh fuck, like <laughs> that just looks like shit. Like you would think nobody lives there. Then like people pop out. It's like holy shit, somebody lives there. Like fuck, mm. it's crazy as fuck. Some places are really nice out here too. Like they put all their money into it. So like shit. The wind just damages everything so bad. I got to redo the greenhouse for me to restart that. Really? Fucking. Don't know what I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to refix it. Just leave it how it is. See if I could do it without fixing it. Because that's too much. I'm trying to put money into it. What do you usually get? The the rolls of plastic uh, from, a, from a big box store? What was the question? Um, for for the greenhouse, so you, usually the, the the wind rips the plastic up, right? You usually just just get a, a, like a new roll. Yeah, you just get a new plastic every three years if the wind doesn't rip it completely in the yeah. middle. Yeah, half of it's perfect, or more than half, one quarter of it's ripped. So if I redo that, mm -hmm. I just redo the whole thing, you know. Yep. Yeah. But if I could use it one more year, then I'm going to. So <clears throat> how it worked last year was perfect, but that one corner did flood. Then I didn't have to water as much. We get a lot of rain out here somehow. I don't know how, but a lot of fucking rain. That's, that's the one thing I do got to worry about. It's overwatering that one pot that's on the corner. When it's, it's ripped right up to that pot. That's where my mango, or my papaya is. I call it mango sometimes. The papaya plant's about five, six feet tall now. Papaya tree, whatever you call it. It's fucking dope. She reminds me of my grandma's house. We used to grow those next to the swimming pool every year. Plant some new ones. I'm having that that hole at the one end will uh, will allow for some more airflow. No, when it's hot in there in the summer. Yeah, but then it allows for pest. Ah, uh, yeah. That's a, yeah, that's the main part. Because the screen only covers it so far, too. Then, like, it leaves a, like, a, almost a crescent moon shape of fucking, where the tarp is fucking open. So, like, yep. on the both sides, one side the screen covers, that side doesn't, the screen doesn't go down far enough. I gotta pull the screen down or do something, figure it out. Because I turn that light on half the season. So, with the light on and the dino trap, the light, broke on the dyna trap so now it's only working with the fan i gotta get a replacement light for that mm. bugs will go straight to that and i want to work because they literally go straight to that blue light that's on there get stuck in that fan and they can't fly back out it's just blowing them down i recommend the dyna trap to anybody not a sponsor but if they want to be <laughs> if they want to be a sponsor i'll take that no and, really and, and that's what, Rob? That's a um, th that's a bug electric light, a bug, a bug attracting light. A, a bug, electric bug attractor, I guess. Which I don't mm -hmm. know what it's really called. I can look it up. So it's just a little. It looks like a little bug light without the zapping shit. You know, it's just oh, okay. they attract the light, and then they go down. The fan sucks them down. They try to fly out, and the fan keeps them from going back out. So gotcha. they just get stuck in the compartment. So you don't yeah. got to worry about it. And it comes with an attractor too, like a little pouch that you put in there. 
So like it's got a scent. Fair, it's pheromones or something. Yeah, the track. I'm not sure what it is, but it stinks. And one time it smelled good. One time it smelled really bad. Both of them worked really well. First one worked really, really good. And it filled it up like three times in a row. Like every week, I did a full container of insects, mm. and I would just top this with them. Just fill up the pots. I had like a layer of bugs for a while. I haven't checked it for like it's. I haven't turned it on either. So once I turn they, it back I, on, do they end up dying in there, or, or when, when you open it, the bugs are all stay alive around. depending on when you check them. So if you check it and if you have beneficial bugs and shit, you will check it like every day just to make sure like nothing good's in there. Like if some stuff does get stuck in there. I've had um, prey mantis fall in there because they're trying to get the easy meal, you know. So so if you don't check, those will die. Well, they, they won't die because they're going to eat all the bugs. <laughs> so they're going to eat all the bugs. They're going to come out fat and juicy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you don't take too long, they'll dry out. Too bugs. Yeah, right. all bugs in there can eventually dry out from that fan just blowing on sure. them constantly. Right, and not being yeah. able to eat or drink. Yeah. Yeah, and they just kind of get stuck where they're at. Just getting The fan's really light, though, so like they can move around in there. You can see a lot of movement. So they just mm-hmm. can't fly back up. Yeah, those yeah. those zappers were nasty with the smell. You you would hear them smell them frying, and you know the mess of litter of all the dead carcasses that under under yeah, the light. Yeah, bottom, you know? and it gets yeah, good yeah. stuff too. So like, right, it's killing good it, stuff, like you said. Yeah, you, know, you don't know what they're stuff, killing. Yeah. Whatever's attracted to like indiscriminate. Yeah, I've seen yeah. all kinds of crazy shit on there on those lights before. Yeah, I don't like those lights. Just too much of a distraction. Too every time it pops, you want to look. It's like pop, 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 pop. Zap. Yep. Nature usually takes care of itself up here in the desert, though. Like you get a, an insect that's not good, a pest, the predator will find it instantly. So when you see the ladybugs, you didn't even know that you had the whatever they're eating. So. That's how it works out here. Before you even see it, there's already something like, oh, there's a meal out here I could eat. But yeah. <clears throat> so anywhere a plant grows. All right, something. guys. I just invited something. somebody to this topic. So let's see if they'll show up. He's been on my show many times before. So let's see if he'll jump on. Figure we need an expert on this. What do we need an expert on? Dynatrap's the expert. Well, you know experts. No, 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 no. <laughs> IPM. To to IPM. Oh, what the heck? Integrated mm. pest management. Yep. I just feel okay, like I feel, I feel like I feel like you're killing more insects that are that are good than bad. So let's see if Ooh. I'm right because I think we talked about you're this completely before. wrong right now. If you're On spraying the stuff, trap. you're killing way more stuff by spraying. No, 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 no. The Dynatrap is indiscriminatory. It's killing everything. Bullshit. It's collecting everything because we just talked your about it. Collecting it's killing more stuff, and then you get to pull out the good ones. You yeah, you could open it up and you whatever live, else. You There's live. No you live. You live. <laughs> you die. You die. By you spraying mm-hmm. stuff, you're actually doing more damage than I am. I haven't spread yeah. anything. Not Don't yet. be spreading it, Chris. Don't be spraying I haven't it. sprayed Don't be anything. It. I haven't sprayed anything yet. I, I use literally Zero. use water when I see any pest on my plants. I shoot it off with water outside, and that works yes. perfectly fine for me. I don't need to spray nothing else extra. I haven't for over 10 years, and I won't for the next 20. I won't for the next 20. Water only outside. Inside, it's a different story. <clears throat> We're not talking inside right now. We're talking outside. Inside's a whole nother fucking story. Now, I take that shit serious. Every three days, four days, I'm in that room spraying everything off. I got leaf hopper problem that is a bitch. So if you don't do that, they will take over the whole fucking everything. What What are you using to help with the leaf hoppers? Just, I use sulfur and then I use Azimax every other day, like every third day or fourth day of the week so every wednesday is a spray day during tomorrow. during veg during veg and early flower yeah my veg i don't flower till very late 
in the year another month, two months. So I have to be on this shit fucking heavy until then. Because even right when you're done with that, those bugs will find their way in that room if they're, if they're not careful. It's fucking bullshit. But yeah, got to do spray late spray sometimes. And then a lot of distraction bug plants, distraction plants before. So my veg, I got to sacrifice two or three plants. I just leave plants I don't like right by the fucking front of the room and full of bugs every time. I just take them outside and shoot them off with water. But yeah, it's fucking hassle in the middle of the desert. When they need something to eat, they're going to find it. Yeah, you're that beacon of light. <clears throat> yep, and that light, you got to keep all the windows fucking closed, doors closed. And then when you open that front door, something finds its way in. So <laughs> it's like it's going to fly in with you. So. Yeah, it was like that when I lived up in Massachusetts. I was, um, the house was only 20, 30, 20, 25, 30 feet from the, from the tree line. And it was all, all woods behind me. And it was just a bug city, you know, the flies, everything. Like little stuff, like I remember the screens, the screens on the window, whatever it is, you know, that little crosshatch pattern. The holes were too big. Like I was getting fruit flies and little tiny yeah. little gnats and shit coming through my screens and i had to rescreen the windows with like this really fine fucking mesh from the hardware store and you know yeah. this, it's just tough These to keep them out and, and like you said you just kind of deal with it you get those sticky traps you you, you yeah. kind of see where they're entering you try to yeah, seal it up but it's, you can never be 100 100 with those fuckers they're so little you know the weekly yellow sticky trap to see what's in the room Right. And, uh, that's that's what I used. I used those traps to kind yeah. of tell me what was coming in. And then I knew if I yeah. needed to get more, you know, if, if the things were getting yeah. chuck full. And yeah, it's it's a great indicator for sure. Yeah, that's the main thing. It's not to get the bugs, people. Now, the yellow ones, if you do leave it on the soil and you have mites, or not mites, but um, what are the gnats? Fungus gnats or fruit flies? Now, the fruit flies will fly onto it. The gnats mm -hmm. are not going to fly onto it, but they will climb on it later. But the fruit flies will be attracted to the color yellow. So that's the one good thing about you know the difference once you catch them on the to learn your bugs. Fruit flies have been mistaken for gnats so many times for fungus gnats. It's, they're not the same. They are not the same thing. Yeah, it was, it was that same thing too with that, that beacon of light thing, you know, because there was like no street lights up there. So if I'd have the the porch lights on my my spotlights, mm -hmm. it was literally the only light in whatever you know hundreds of yards of feet, and every bug yeah. came out the wood like to you know the lights were just surrounded with flying bugs and shit. It was yeah. you know, when, when, when you're squirrel. out in the kind of middle of nowhere like that, you are yeah. a huge attraction. Right, right on the door, you see a scorpion yeah. when you open up the shit, and you're like, oh, let me swipe it off. The fucking Oof. whatever bug it's trying to get right above it too and you see what it's going for and you feel bad like damn i interrupted the fucking it's meal because that now it's going to go in my house and now i have a pest in my house and not <laughs> so yeah double you always get the double things so the good bugs and the bad bugs but just let it play out don't interfere too much we good the garden will be good yeah, it's hard outdoors. Just let it do what it does. Shoot it off with water. Find the wasp and the bees doing their thing. You really don't see the ladybugs. You don't got to worry. Mm -hmm. People freak out for no reason sometimes. And you got to grow enough plants and big enough to not worry about it. Like that was my problem. I don't worry about it. I have so much plant that I'm not going to get to harvest that whole plant myself. So if you grow enough plants, you can give enough back to nature, back to the earth. You don't got to worry about it. Got to stop being so greedy as stoners. I want every last bud on that plant. Probably won't smoke it all by the end of the year or give it away. <laughs> so it doesn't matter if you lose a couple grams or an ounce. Unless you need all your medicine and 
not everybody uses it all. So. Ooh, people say I'm going to compost that plant. It's like just make it, make fecal or hash out of it. Oh, it's already in the compost pile. Well, that was a waste. But it's their plant, their choice, their life. Can't get too upset when somebody else makes a decision you wouldn't. Can't let it interfere with your life. Tino's Wap Cookies, Gelato, four times purple doge. That's what I'm packing up. I might plant some more of those. Sounds like fucking Tino's got the fire. <laughs> so strong too. <laughs> Long expando. That was not a big hit. Just got me like one. <laughs> so it's the environment like this year it's going to be really bad for bugs because it rains so much out in the southern california area so we'll have to watch out for literally every bug you can think of. This would be a bad butterfly year, or a good butterfly year for the butterflies, but bad for and moths and any other insect. We've got to watch out for that stuff this year, because all the wild flowers all around us that are just popping up everywhere in SoCal. It's just a, one of the most beautiful things you'll ever see. The desert full of wildflowers, and then at the same time as a cannabis grower, it's terrifying. It's fucking, it's terrifying to see that much, that much wildflowers, because, you know, those wildflowers only last a couple weeks, and those insects are going to have to go somewhere else and find another plant. All the predators. In the world can't take care of that much bugs. Can't find the show. There it is. Turn the volume off. I've not read the comments. Cheers, Bez. See what you guys are doing. Why? Cheers, why? Red Primo. I got the spider from Mars in the one of them in soil today so that they're fem it makes it easier to choose and i got three more pots waiting for me to decide what else to put then i gotta do a transplant for some more pots so i could i just gotta buy some more pots jesus choose Spider mites are the least of my problems. I got the wind, I got to worry, but I don't, my pest problems are not an issue. Once the dust and the wind starts blowing, that takes care of all the insects on the plants outside. Nah, the straight spiders from Mars. 
Red Fumo. The hell, Coco? You right there, buddy. He started barking off freaking like he wants to. Where's be everybody? Like, Come on, jump on, Red Primo. Um, what else? What we Calico? I got the munchies. I'm going to eat a Sammy. Great spiders from Mars. I was going to do one of the crosses after I got the the straight the spiders from Mars first going out after a couple weeks. So then I could see the difference between the two. See the spiders from Mars. See if I could see it in the cross. You know what I'm looking at after. But the cross will be next. The three Africans and a pineapple cross to the spiders from Mars will be the next one that I pop from you, Red Primo. Well, the first ones I pop from you, but the ones you gave me, three, yeah, the spiders. Ah, oh, Coco. Shit. It's right behind me now. I'm right here, Papa. Here. <clears throat> All right, I'm back. He's hiking right now. Cheers, Jesus. Cheers. Bright guy grows. Jesus again. Hebrew Jesus. Okie grower. Cheers, guys. I'm going to freaking smoke something that gives me energy because this gelato 41's got me droney. All down and droney now. I'm all wild. Lemon Street Town Sky Cutler Curse from Sun Grown Mids. This is the last of it. Literally the last of it. I just got the cutting in. Oh no, I lost the cutting that I had. I have tons of the seeds. Oh, there goes some more seeds from it. Yeah, man. This is one of my favorite. Oh, still a bowl pack. Fuck. Yes, got to spray some Axiom. I hit it with Fergiliad about a week ago. The soil. Made it better, made it better. My plants look so happy now. That I transplanted them, they look like shit before. They were in those pots for like four months, five months, one gallon. Keeping them in my veg. Didn't want to flip them to all the cuttings I had. Some of them are six months, seven months in that. I'm glad they're slow growers, like the GMO. Takes a long time. I'm just taking his time in the corner. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, that was nasty. Oh, I needed that. This lemon clears your lungs. Yeah, this lemon clears your lungs out. Gets you hocking up blue. Oh, dude, that's what I'm saying with that orange, that orange uh sherbet or the it. orange or the orange uh, uh cookies <laughs> on the guava cubay. Guava cubay, oh, orange sherbet, guava cubay. Okay. I mean, orange sherbet, guava cubay, orange. Yeah, <laughs> those things it. clear your lungs. Clear me all I, I, I think that's why some people Corey doesn't like it is because uh, it, that it clears you out and everything, and he thinks he's allergic to it. So it makes you feel fucking wonderful. 
Yeah. Yeah, I cleared my lungs out good. Nice and clean, all that resin. <laughs> Yeah, man. And it's a less oh. depressing. It's a nice, happy high. Some of that stuff makes me so down. I get all out. Down and out. You busy? Jump on, dude. You know, those menus I've been looking at a lot. North, North Stars. I'm waiting to pull the trigger. The one I'm going for next. What are you eyeballing from North Star? Whoa. From the salt. The salt menu or the freaking dark woods. Or is it yeah, one of those. Or the Alcatraz OG. Or the yeah. there's so many of them that are fire on there. Now you're fine. It's overwhelming how much stuff that's on that menu, on each menu. No. I'm going to go grab my other thing. It's kind of chilly over here. But I think the Alcatraz OG. That's the uh, OG times, I mean the... Hell's Angels times Frisco OG. Yeah, that should be fire. Man, it sounds that like it. I thought you guys uh, from California don't call it Frisco. I don't know. I think that's what uh, it's we called. Don't. It on the we, we, the we don't call it Frisco. Uh, what do you, what do you call it? San Fran? Of, no, no. We don't see. even call it San Francisco. We call it the city. No, you guys call it the city. We call it San Francisco yeah, yeah. from so because we don't know that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't. Know. No, yeah. no. I I agree. I agree with what you're saying. Only the ones that know. But about here it, in right up there, here in Northern yeah, California, we call it the city. It's okay. That's. I've heard that a lot in a lot of music that I used to listen to. It's all from the and, Bay. And we call. New York City, the city. The city. That's what I was. It's like say. the big city in the area, you know. What's up, Red Primo? Hey, how's it going? You know, having lived in Northern Cal and Southern Cal, yeah. Northern Cal they call it the city, and in Southern Cal they call it as uh, they call it San Francisco. Yes. Yeah, or San Francisco. San Francisco. But I see where they call it the city. Or the Bay Area sometimes they'll call it the Bay Area. And and the weird one is now they refer to South Bay in LA as like the Torrance area. And I never heard anything in, in LA referred to as South Bay. And in California, the Bay Area was always San Francisco, and that's what everyone else except for the people in Northern Cal, which called it uh as the city. Kind of like you guys back there. What do you call the city, John? Is that New York or? Yeah. New York is the city. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, see, I grew up in the country. In the Coachella Valley, we just call it everything's the valley out there. So. Yeah, and to us, the valley was uh, San Fernando Valley. See, got the Coachella Valley, and that's where we grew up being valley kids. And screw it. It's all valleys in the mountains. So, like, each mountain got yeah. a, a different valley. So, we got all the different hoods in each different mountain. Mm -hmm. Quinta, Cat City, Palm Desert, it's all against the mountains. So. So yeah, each one goes back to like a little valley. Fucking oh, and, and and if you drive from Palm Springs, that is like a huge valley, and it, you know yeah. dumps right out into the Coachella. Yeah, no, no. One mountain on one side, one mountain on the other side, all it's, the way down the, the giant valley. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if you look on a map, it's only slightly smaller in than the San Joaquin Valley because it does extend down into Mexico. 
Yeah. Like that's where the salt sea's in the middle where I'm stuck. Mm -hmm. that's, where I'm, <laughs> that's where I'm stuck. I want to be I'm in the Chill Valley for a minute still. That fucking place is so bad. That's where I was born, so that's why. Yeah. Yeah. I want to be at home. I want to be home still. Not here. I'm out of my uh, Annie's garage, so I'm starting my first batch of Pico from the spiders from Mars. Nice. We'll find out how nice it is. <laughs> the Annie's garage was a one-to-one, -one, and it was really good medicine, but it tasted really foul. Spiders from Mars, I, I think it's got a bit of cbd but not near it's not even close to a one-to-one -one, just like trace amounts if any nice that's uh hardy's it's a sometimes i have a hard time keeping track of what his breeding is he called it a a four square of dr dream on but i don't know what he's crossed it with so hmm. if it's dr dreams all cure yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's he's bred extensively with that. He really likes that. Well, this is good medicine. I just it was way too strong a pine for my taste. Piney. Oh, intense piney, like hexol industrial strength pine. Really? It settled down a bit in the jar, but it, it's um yep. yeah, it's not an enjoyable smoke, but it you know. It makes good medicine for, you know, it, I mean, it is good medicine for smoking as hard as it is to smoke. I'm going to see what it is for the, the FICO. I, I suspect it'll be good. Mm. Nice. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, see, it's called Frisco OG. I didn't call it that. It's just what the stream is called. I had to go and look. I was like, hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was Angel Time first go OG. So uh, who's the breeder on that? This is NorCal, so Joel. Joel from Nor North Star. I said North, North Star. North, North Star Genetics. Genetics. I'm not familiar with that one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a hold on. Let me give him a little. Ladies and gentlemen, do sound Coming all the way from the big D. Let's give a warm welcome to the big D. Good morning. What's up, fellas? How you doing? Morning. Uh, I'm right. lagging big time on my end, so hopefully yeah, yeah. it comes through all yeah, right. Stick, stick to one device. No. <laughs> oh, that yeah, was funny. I'm, I only have this one with me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't activate. The, the only reason I was able to use that is because uh, I put it through Wi-Fi. Because I still haven't set it up, but it worked with the Wi-Fi on Sometimes there's no rhyme or reason to what works with what equipment. I had nice expensive earbuds and the sound was shit over uh, boot over uh, Streamyard, and I got cheap earbuds now, and it comes through. Yeah, it's the way of the world. Yeah. Or copy link. And put it in your Safari if you have a Apple phone.
Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Trying to get a another new person on. Another new person. Um, he's in the uh, Dude Grows channel chat all the time. And he's also, I think, in uh, Rasta Jeff's chat all the time. So... I know he's got a bunch of Ross and Jeff's gear and and uh, another gear growing. So hopefully, I'd like he to hear about his able. gear. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, we can get him on. Uh, it is. I don't know if you heard of him, Indoor Dankster. Mm. Have you? Do mm. you guys remember Indoor Dankster? He, well, he's he's a he's a young cat. He's gonna be part of that. Uh, that uh, 26 year old to 34 year old. Yep. 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 Hit the copy of the link. Yeah. Hold on. Let me tell him. <laughs> yep. <coughs> yep. Copy link. Paste it to some. Am I frozen? Because I'm not hearing myself. No, nope, I can hear you frozen? just fine. Yeah, yeah. If you were frozen, we'd still be able to hear you. Okay. We just wouldn't be able to see your uh, icon, but you, with this icon, I mean. doesn't matter if you're frozen. If you were frozen, it wouldn't matter because it only has to do with camera. It doesn't have to do with, uh, with audio. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just not hearing voice playback of myself, so maybe I've just okay. got lag or something. Yeah. Well, why would you have voice playback of yourself? Well, because I'm watching the show. Wouldn't I hear me on the show? No. Or no? No, no you no. need to be watching no. the okay. StreamYard, not the YouTube. Yeah, you, you should not YouTube. be watching StreamYard. I mean, you should not right. be watching the show on your TV. Watch No, it. no, I'm not. I'm, I'm on oh, YouTube. Here. I'm not on No, 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 no. You, you, don't, you don't want to be on YouTube. You want to be watching... Um, on StreamYard, otherwise you'll get a, yes. you won't get as strong a delay if you watch it on StreamYard. Here we go. Okay. Did that fix your delay problem? There we go. Oh, I've just let it ride as, at the moment. As long as y'all hear me, I don't necessarily yeah, need to hear, hear myself. <laughs> yep. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, we have a brand new guest. I met him on the, either Dude Grows channel or uh, or Rasta Jeff's. I cannot remember. It was one of the two, but like I said, he's hailing from the great north uh, east. Let's give a warm welcome to Indoor Dankster. What's up, dude? What are you up to? What are you? What's growing on with you? Yeah, I'm just getting ready to take uh, down a chocolate mimosa within the next uh, 14 days. Captain Redbeard's oh, 55, nice. 56 days. It's a. Uh oh. Let's see if I could. Flip. Okay. Flip. Let's see if I can, can I just flip? interrupt and say I love the hat? That is a killer hat, dude. Thank you. The okay, underside of it. With the, yeah. The bill like that. Yeah, I love the underside of that bill. Uh, yeah. That's, I so it was the GDC. The okay, that's what I was about to tell you. Turn so, the camera sideways. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You go into settings, or you go into more, and then okay. you go into the camera function into there. And that's how you go front to back. Okay. All right. The one you hit originally, that one, yeah, and turn your camera like, like, uh, like Big John said, turn your camera sideways unless you have screen lock on. Then take your screen lock off. Okay. Swipe down. And then, yeah, there you go. Heck yeah. Hey, it's not just me that can't work the, the stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what do we got here again? You got chocolate. You said chocolate mim yeah, mimosa? Yeah, this, this is a chocolate mimosa by Captain Redbeard. It's a 55 day strand. Oh, nice. Should, should sure. go, could go a little longer. I always go by still. I look at uh, my trichome. I still go by. Yes. 
I don't got it down pat yet to just know when she's ready. So I look through my little magnifying glass at my trikes, make sure they're 5% amber. If they're 5% amber, she's ready to come down. Oh, that's nice. That's how you do it? Yeah, I just uh, look through my magnifying glass right uh, right at the period they say it's supposed to be ready. I don't harvest it right there. I make sure I get a 5% amber because I like a little more of a psych. It's a, I forget the words I'm looking for for the for the five percent like amber it's a real it's more of a little relaxation instead of a speed me yeah, up yeah. kind of mm -hmm. cbd oh, okay. competitive i think you get a little bit more cbn oh it's cbn not cbg sorry about that yes hmm. a little yeah, bit that's, more uh, that's that chocolate most of them i got behind it. it's a josh it's a josh d cut that was gifted to me from a buddy up in colorado it's GMO times OG Kush 96. Ooh. And it's... Uh, Do you like that? Is. I've always wanted Josh D. Uh, this is my... I was actually kind of really silly on this one. I got new in it and got really big head about it. And I forgot to take some clones of it. So <laughs> once this once uh, this plant's finished, I've, it's gone. I only had one seed. Reveg it. Yeah, you're not going to try to reveg it? I can if I taste the flower really good. If I like the if I like the taste of it, I'll reveg it and put it out for two weeks. Oh, it'll take longer than that. Huh? This uh, it was about sixteen days. Uh, I revegged uh, it's uh, Mind Flayer times Rose Cake, and uh, sixteen days it came out really nice, and I put it in flower. And I'm ready to hit that one with some electric blueberry tomorrow. That's a uh, funberry nice. kush times milk and cookies. That's my little breeding project I'm going to have for uh, the DGC. I'm going to try to get some seeds for the guys. Nice. Now, yeah, my experience, some come out quick, but some take a long time. Oh. Yeah, this one. Uh, I didn't realize this we're one could be a night. This one. On. Go back to guest layout. Go ahead, keep going. I'm sorry, I'm doing a little background oh, work. You're, sorry about that. This one, uh, this yeah. one could be nine. This one could be nine to ten weeks. There we go. It ain't a. It ain't an eight week. Oh. So, it'd be a little oh, nice. longer. That's the mind flare. What one did you? Was uh, that from? Said, um, uh, mind flare and rose AK. That's my uh, breeding project. In the other ten, I can go to that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can go so to that. Say, well, that was from Soul. Was from Soul Fire, right? The mind flare. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna yeah, say. Soul, Soul Fire Garden. Cool. And then you crossed it with which one? Electric blueberry. It's who uh, makes that one? Uh, my buddy. It's his cut dark DNA seed. Oh, nice. He's cool, a cool. he's a Virginia grower, so we're just trying to do a community breeding project he's a big part of the dgc community too and oh, that's awesome we're, we're a big family up here we all just try to help each other out uh, sounds like a super cool cross yeah but uh once i get done in this big tent i can go show you my little uh breed i'll show you my little breeding tent where i pollinate them out and i leave them uh confined in there for 14 days then i'll spray them down with water before i bring them back in here I got my uh, cherry bubbles in here. It's a uh, bubble goat times uh, cherry paloma, which is a JR token cut and uh, raw genetics. Then uh, the bubble goat is Irie genetics, which is Ross and Jeff, one of my favorite buddies. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that once I get done with this. Uh, this is a champion cut. This is a Captain Redbeard's S1. This one, the Oregon Cup back in 20. 14, I believe. It's a high times Oregon Cup winner. Both plant. Nice. Mm -hmm. She's packing on some nice frost for week six. This is a this is a nine ten week strand. It goes sixty three to seventy days. I like those leaves. And she stacked in uh. Oh, I can zoom in for you guys too. Sorry about that. But 
Yeah, she stacked on pretty nice too and back up for you. And those are sip containers that you got growing in? Uh, these are the earth boxes from Build a Soil. Okay, those are earth boxes from Build a Soil? Yeah, they're a 15, uh, they're a 15 gallon, uh, well, let me, I can start about that. They're a 15 gallon, uh, yes, container. Then down here, they got a two and a half gallon reservoir. Mm hmm. So you top, you could, uh, you top water, I top water. I top water them for uh, the first 14 days, and usually after the first 14 days, I can start seeing, start seeing a little bit of roots down in my reservoir. So I'll, I'll send two and a half gallons of water down my reservoir, and it's about five, every five days I'm uh, refilling my reservoir. That's a really nice system. You can't overwater. It's for experienced growers all the way to beginner growers and that's what i yep. started out when i first started growing was these earth boxes because i had a i ain't gonna lie i had that problem of over watering i thought my plants was wilting because they wasn't ready so i'd come in here give them water and it was just like when my lights just first came on it was mm -hmm. just beginner We've all done it. and my girlfriend's dad he thankfully uh he gave me two of these earth boxes and they just kick <laughs> yeah. it, man. I, uh, this is my fifth grow in these earth boxes and I got it. I wouldn't say I got it dialed down all the way yet, but I'm getting there. They're starting to look pretty good. This is my seventh grow. I they look nice. Yeah. This yeah. Is the yeah. We, we have uh, somebody that was a, a horrible grower. And then, uh, and then one of our uh, friends told them to start using those earth boxes or sip containers, and uh, it turned yeah, it around for him. Trade name. Gotcha. Yeah. Do, do they yeah, use yeah. the? Do they use Jeremy's like uh, build a soil three point or light light soil, or do they build their own soil? I I think they build their own soil because they can't really afford to be uh, purchasing. They're on a fixed income. Uh, a lot of the people on our channel. On um, fixed incomes, and, yeah, and say, or I'm not uh, on, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I'm not on a fixed income, but I'm the same way. Uh, the soil, my girlfriend's dad, he built it and uh, used Jeremy's recipe, and he gave it to me. And I just been reamending it with uh, Meeg's fertilizer and Optic Foliar. If you guys heard of Optic, they're out of Canada. They're a big DGC uh, sponsor for the cup up there. I met them guys last year. Nice. And then, uh, did you say, uh, I'm sorry, did you say you won, uh, you won the DGC, one of the things on the GGC or did you enter No, it, uh, it was, uh, Lemon Jeffrey. It was, uh, I played 12th with a Lemon Jeffrey. Oh, nice. It a, nice. It was the first time attending out of, uh, 53 different growers last year. This year. Oh, nice. This year there's, uh, it's sold out. There's 70, 73 contenders this year. So, oh, nice. I'm taking uh, these two right here. This is the champion cut S1. It's the most, it's the fruitiest, like, it's the fruitiest plant I ever smelled. Like, when I open this tent, I don't smell anything else but just this, them two plants. That champion cut S1, it's a, it's a chocolate rock times, uh, uh, what Kush? It's uh, one of the Kush. I would have to look into the lineage of it, but it's a chocolate rock times a Kush. I might be uh, nice. it might be chocolate rock times mimosa Kush, nice. but I'd have to look into that and get back with you guys on that one. Don't hold me on that one. I just know it's CM uh, Champion Cut S One. So remind me again: Have you smoked any of these crosses? Uh, I smoked uh, the chocolate mimosa, not by Captain Red, not by Captain Redbeard. I smoked it from a dispo, oh, okay. and it was it was halfway okay because most weed it comes from the Ohio dispensaries or gets dried out. It's just you're just paying for stuff that's already been crushed on yes. left and right. You don't know what's coming from there, so that's what. Uh, by the way, me. he's not from Ohio. He's from uh, he he's from uh, Michigan. No. <laughs> oh wait, 
Oh, 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 wait, wait. Did Ohio just legalize, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. So we're so we're so we're safe on that aspect. Yeah. And they were already medical, right? Yeah, they uh was medical and then for broke. almost two two and a half years. Right. But they just recreational legalized it, right? Yeah, December eleventh of twenty twenty three. Do they have homegrown? Uh, they got a home grow. You get twelve. You could do uh twelve plants per house. Sweet. <laughs> so. Uh, oh yeah, dude. Hopefully, it gets outdoor. Some outdoor, or just indoor. You could do it uh, <laughs> six indoors if you want it, six outdoors. You could have a twelve. You could have a total of twelve. Okay. Then uh, but uh, on this one where I don't. Sorry about that. Where I don't get sidetracked. This is this kosher kush. This is from Helvig Genetics. I trained this. I trained this plant pretty good. I just started getting into training my plants. Since it's in a rain science bag, I could tie my uh, I could tie my buds down, let them catch up. I let it go on the fifth note, then I topped it. Once the sixth note started uh, developing, that's where I chopped it off, and I tied these two. Once the two tops came out from where I topped it, I tied I tied them down a little bit, where my side could catch up and. My side branch down here, it didn't catch up so good. So I had to untie it because it was ready to get break. I was stressed. I was low stressed the heck out of this one. And that's by Helvig Genetics. It's a 70 day, 70 day. Is it strong OG? Yeah, it's a, uh, I guess, I guess it's a, uh, one of those plants once you get up close to it it's you don't you don't think it's going to be smelling like what it is until you get up on it i haven't i don't know why i don't get no big like fumes really from it like i remember is this your first cycle with it yeah this is uh the first uh go on this coach oh it might get real loud at the end I got two. Uh, I got two more seeds of it. If this one turns out pretty good, I'm gonna try to reverse them seeds this summer. See how they go because I want to keep a kosher kush around. My buddy in Colorado said this is uh, something special when he sent it down to me. Yeah, a lot of strains won't get real loud until the last couple of weeks, and then they just go boom. Yeah, she still has. Uh, she could go four more weeks. Oh yeah, you got plenty of time for more fragrance to come. Yeah, I want to see if she. I want to see if she packs on a little more. I'm a little happy with the top, but I think they could. I feel like they could pack on a little more. You know, I've been tricked with plants like that before that I didn't think have any weight, and I actually uh -huh. was like put them on the not grow again list, and all of a sudden they like just weighed heavy. So you know, don't rule it out until it's done. Yeah, I'm just. I'm pretty happy how it stacked. It stacked really nice. The top, the center top came right up. You know, one year yeah, I had a no plant year. that uh, I, I, I harvested it and only because the year before I had had a shit harvest. But if I hadn't had a shit harvest the year before, I would not have harvested the plant because the buds were itty bitty tiny things. Gotcha. Just all over the plant and they didn't have a lot of trichomes to them but because i'd been so hard up i went ahead and harvested it and everything and it's a damn good thing because that was like magic bud it was stronger <laughs> than anything else it was i mean it looked like it had been cured on the floorboard of my you know truck you know or something it was just like hideous looking shit. Uh -huh. but man it was magical stuff i learned then to not judge it until after it's smoked because you just never know. I mean, you can't judge it by size or yield or quantity until you've actually smoked it. Yeah, so and wait it. Done cured. Because... Yeah, I, I'm going to try this uh, method in this one tent. My buddy in Colorado showed me this. He hangs his stuff for 28 days at, uh, six, at 60 degrees and 60% uh, percent humidity. And once his... Uh, 20 uh 28 day cycles done you will uh 
just take your buds down and you just put them right in your jars and close it. You don't have to burp it. You don't have to do none of that anymore. Yeah. How he does it. That's what Mean Gene says. He says if you're burping it, you've got you shouldn't even been in the jar. That's what he uh -huh. says. So I agree with that guy. Yeah, he showed he showed me that buddy? message. Yeah, he showed me that message last year. Hot Rod Head Staff from he's from Denver. He's a big DGC community guy. It was my uh, first year at the DGC last year, and all those guys they just took me they just took me in under their wing. Jr. Token, Hot Rod, Ross and Jeff, Scotty, Scrambo, the whole crew they just took me in. It was pretty awesome. Well, it's good you got the shortcut. Yeah, they helped me out a lot, but still, I should be doing a little bit better, but still it's my seventh. Yeah, but experience. So. I mean, that, that just takes repetition. It'll come. Uh -huh. And then here's uh, what I was telling you about my first little breeding project. This is uh, Cherry Paloma times uh, Bubble Goat, which is Cherry Paloma. It looks from real Ross. good. It's Trop, it's Trop Cherries times Georgia Pie. And uh, bubble bubble goat is strawberry bubble goat times golden goat, and uh, I keep seeing my little hairs curl down and get really. That looks really like good. some weight on that one. So I think I think she's uh I think I pregnated her pretty good. So I should have some good seeds for uh, dark DNA seeds that sent me the pollen. Then I told uh, Grambo and a couple guys with the community and the DGC, I want to give a couple of these seeds out up there and get this strand going around, make it uh, actually something a lot of the community might start growing if we get good yeah. seed pack. It'll be our first, it'll be my first R1 seed, so we'll see how they go. Then uh, my little tent, I'm going to turn my camera off. I'm going to show you, show you guys my little tent. It's where uh, I'm isolating current and uh, super critical, which is, uh, like I was saying about current, it's a uh, rosé cake times mind flare from Soul Flyer Gardens. And uh, super critical was gifted to me from uh, I think I saw him on Arizona. the podcast. Here. No. That way I can start ranting again. There we go. All right. Oh, there that it is. That is uh, super critical. Why I want to? Why I want to cross that super critical? It's uh, it's Big Bud times Skunk Number One times White Widow, and it's an early two thousand seed that my buddy from uh, That's Tucson, real stuff Arizona, right Pete Strut. Peach grows from uh, Take cuts. DGC cup. Take cuts. What is it? Take, Take cuts. cuts. <laughs> oh, I will. I'm gonna hunt. I'm gonna hunt this one right here. It's gonna be. This one's gonna be gifted to JR Token and Dark DNA Seeds. We're gonna hunt through this one and try to find that right keeper what? because he wants. He, he wants a he wants to beef it up more with another oh, with another strand because he wants to have his old I don't know we want to have the old that's what I was saying yeah the date the dates of the lineage of that you got you got real shit in there and it's uh for four weeks it packed on uh nice buds and it's putting off the oh, nice no, raw no, 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 no. that's cool yep 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 then, then behind it, I got the current. It's Mind Flare and Rose Cake. And I, I ran this. Uh, I ran this plant right here for uh, four different grows. So I got her pretty down pat. I re vegged her. She died on me. So I re vegged her out for 16 days and I flipped her right in a flower. Her, her old parts is purple, just solid purple. Her new growth just green. That's a good strain to keep if you took it that far and it came back that easy. That's one that you should keep because you'll never lose it. You know, it's got yeah, the will to live. Uh, uh huh. She's a she's a bad mammy jammy. I was thinking. I uh, I was ready to just throw her out and I put her in my living room. And next thing you know, she wheeled it out. All the leaves fell off. I guess. 
topped it, put it in a big tent, trying to make clones from her, and none of the clones root it. So next thing you know, I put it back under 18.6 for 16 days, and it was crazy how uh, the leaf just, the leaf just came out. The trickiest thing with reveg is is learning to not water it much because it's not growing, so you're prone to drown it, and it doesn't want a lot of light. So usually, if you'll kick them off to the side and just just you know don't let them get bone dry, but never try to get them saturated, and usually uh -huh. you'll have success. Gotcha. Yeah, I just kicked it out and let it sit in front of my uh, girlfriend's hydroponic uh, light. <laughs> And uh, every once in a while, when I uh, took uh, my mushrooms, when I rehydrated my substrate for my mushroom, I was just slowly dumping some mushroom substrate on that because it's a uh, horse manure, uh, camel manure, elephant manure. I was just just seeing yeah. how good, how far I could go with it and that stuff, man. It was crazy how it just put the green and it just came back vicious. <laughs> Yeah, not wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Can I interrupt for a second here and say just a second? Are you gonna just drive by that camel manure and elf manure without explaining where the hell you get that shit? Oh, that's from uh that's from my uh that's from my one of my sponsors, uh one of my good buddies, Tanazi with fruity spores and sacred three mushrooms. When uh my cakes when I I guess I guess rehydrated this cake. So uh, I drained the water off of it, and I just put it on my plants. It's uh, like I was saying, it's just cam camel manure and everything. It's from sacred three mushrooms. How they make their substrates for mushrooms to grow in. Camel, huh? They must have an exotic ranch or something. Uh, that's uh, I'm not for sure where he gets the camel manure in Colorado at. Right. <laughs> Or the elephant manure. I don't know. Right. Yeah, they're whoa, native. Whoa, they're whoa, both whoa, native. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, they're both <laughs> native to Colorado. Up in the mountains yes. only, though. In the mountains of Colorado, high in, right by Mile High Stadium, right next to Ball yeah. Jar Arena, where we're where we are transmitting from. Gotcha. No. We're, yeah, they're up there just kicking. They're kicking the goats off, taking yeah, over. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, no, we, uh, that was an inside joke. Uh, back in the day, I used to say that all the time that we're transmitting from there. <laughs> what do you yeah, mean? I'm but, from Colorado. What are you talking about? <laughs> yes. I just said, I just said D because that was far enough away to throw everybody off. Yes, yes, yes. His cow manure comes from out of the country from a trusted source. That's what's up. All right, here we go. Did you Through want to go? So, so they just let you import camera and manure for like no restrictions. So just like throw it in a bag and bring it on the airplane kind of thing. Why not? Huh? Is that what camel? We have a couple camel farms here in the, in the America. Why wouldn't we just use their camel? Well, right? yeah, that's what I was saying. But it's got to be like an exotic ranch if huh. they've got access to camel. Yeah. I mean, do we got so alpaca, alpaca all over the place? Yeah, I could. Uh, yeah, alpaca. Alpaca. There's this farm that does camel milk. I forgot where it is, but I've seen that on. Yeah, once I get off, the of, once I get off here, jobs. I could ask the Nazi about it. Oh yeah, dude. We, I mean, we, we do have a no, no. We have a direct line to Tanazi. Right here, Green Table Gardens. What is it? Green Table Gardens is our direct line to Danazi. There's elephant manure right here for oh, sale okay. on um everything. You just Google it. It's everywhere. That's hilarious. <laughs> Get anything on the internet. What is it? Was it elephantmanure.com? <laughs> he said elephantmanure.com. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Zuku. There's one of them. <laughs> you can score. Yeah, I put you that stuff on Palm these plants. Springs. When I, oh, I guess my camera. Yeah, when them plants were just dying out on me, uh, 
Primo, I was just uh, I was just dumping that camel manure and stuff on them, man, and it was it was just crazy how they reveg back so fast. Were you oh, using dude, the tea crazy. like the liquid or the actual solid? I was actually use I was actually using just all of it when it came when I would uh <laughs> drain it off into a small bucket, I'd just pour it all in my soil. Right. Yeah, well it worked, so There's you did right. Heck, uh, I'm I'm curious about what makes my, uh, camp I'm sorry. Oh, I was curious okay. about what, what makes uh, the, the camel manure special. Is it for only for the uh, mycology that is special, or is it for anything? I believe it could be for anything, but he just uses it specifically for his uh, mycology up there, for his substrate well, to hold in green uh, table. different moisture. Let us know. What's the importance of camel, green table? <laughs> Hey Siri, why is camel dung better than cow manure? It's shit. Shit is shit, Chris. That's what it's going to tell you. Uh, I would guess to say that for one, it's got less moisture than cow manure. Right. Yeah, I know the milk is supposed to be more digestible for humans, so it's supposed to be the closest, I think, to human milk. Closer than goat, I believe. Could be lying, but I think so. Gotcha. Something about this architecture so far. Yeah, I wish I had the answer on that okay. one. All right, here oh, we go. Stumped right there. I'm telling you right now, I already, I already found it. I already found it, dude. You beat green tables? I already found it. It's I already know what it, it is. Nope. Nope. Is right Google Food strong? Right here. No, no, no. I found it. I, I did, dude. I found it. Check it out. And you guys, you, you probably are going to agree with me. This is are the we reason. Learning something? We're learning. Odor list. There you go. That's a plus, always. <laughs> I like smelly. Yeah, odorless. That, is, uh, that oh, is the key right there. Odorless. Yeah, if you're oh, indoor yeah. growing, that's a big plus. Yeah, oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Keep the life happy. <laughs> it's, 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 it's odorless. That, that is exactly why that Jeez. Hell, hell, man, you should. Uh... Uh oh. Well, we should ask Dankster since he's used it if he confirms that. <laughs> or Green Tables. Hey, you know, Green Tables said that's probably the main reason. <laughs> that probably the main reason, Chris. <laughs> Deductive reasoning would lead to that for sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, it's odorless. I was thinking like manure this. is not odorless. <laughs> I'm just assuming now though that that's the reason why. Uh, the reason you know, why it was a it is a um this is a uh this is a uh article from Dr. Mm. Razik Kakur. This is an article from Dr. Ra Razik Kakur, and I, I know I'm fucking brutalizing that name. For sure. <laughs> but that's what it says. But uh, uh, we're assuming that's why they use it, though, because it's already... No, I, I, that's I, that's I, I Yeah, I mean, it could that's be because it has particular parasites or... You know, or well, like a, a or, or particular nutrients for nematodes. something. They said that there was nematodes Dry in it. Well, Green Table said yeah. that's the primary reason, probably. Odorless. Yeah, probably is like the same, the same thing. But, he, but doesn't Green Tables actually do the mushrooms? <laughs> so I don't yeah. think he, he knows. 
That's <laughs> probably yeah, just too. But, you know. Well, it's, okay, we're all being asses at this point. We're all making assumptions. <laughs> I want to know the definition. That's why I'm looking it up. I've been reading this shit the whole time. I don't see nothing too special about it. No, just that's what I'm saying. Thing. Odorless. That's what's special about it. Um, Dry and odorless. And that's not, that's his final answer. No, the special with part it. was that there's nematodes in it so that you would use it and it would go to your garden and you would have these nematodes. Mm. And that's one of yeah. the reasons why you might That's what I was it. wondering. Yeah, because you might not want there, nematodes. There he is. Around. He's back. I was now he's closer away. to the router. Yeah, I was too far away from my router. It was kicking. <laughs> is it odor free? <laughs> hey, and now we can actually see your lips move too. Before <laughs> we get yeah, every other, just, uh, was, oh, I was just, uh, I was like, but, 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 probably, <laughs> yeah, I was like that. No, 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 we can hear you. Is weird because we can still hear your voice, but we, your, your, your every other word, your mouth would move. So yeah, <laughs> had that. I had that uh, hologram going. Yeah, I was yeah, getting confused of who was talking. I was, Lip readers are like, uh, what is he saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a fun little project out there. I can't wait to see how the turn and uh, super critical takes the uh, electric blueberry. And I had a little bit of Terry Paloma pollen left too, so I might throw a little bit of Terry Paloma on with it. Oh, nice! I, a lot of people like that Cherry Paloma. Yeah, my uh, buddy Dark DNA Seeds, he did a big run. He made uh, Trop Cherries. He brung Trop Cherries uh, S1 back out of it. And he brung a Georgia Pie, regular Georgia Pie back. And uh, he turned uh, he turned a couple oh, different S1 seeds. He did a pretty big project this go around, and I was really amazed. I can't wait to try a couple of the seeds out. He's going to have me germinate and do a couple of different tests for the Trop Cherry S1, the Cherry Paloma. <coughs> Who else is doing the Cherry Paloma here? Somebody else is doing the Cherry Paloma. Who's doing the Cherry Paloma? It is sounds familiar, like somebody has mentioned No, it. no, no. Somebody's doing the Cherry Paloma. Uh, Corey, are you doing the Cherry Paloma? Who's doing the Cherry Paloma? I know you're doing Cherry Pie and shit, or one of the Cherry Pies. That sounds really Don't good, right cherry. There, cherry pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cherry West. I'm doing cherry, cherry West. Cherry West. That's the one. Okay. Is that Westport? West. Is that Westport? No, that's uh, Freeborn. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess no. Chad's coming out with a lot of stuff. He's coming out with uh, some awesome gear. If you guys know Chad Westport. Oh yeah. He, yeah, we know him. <laughs> I've I've been on this show a few times. Uh, yeah. Uh, yep. I know Chad. Yeah, he's, uh, I ran into him, uh, beginning of the, beginning of the summer, I ran into him last year and we've been. Uh oh. Chad's not wanting him to talk about him. Sorry, somebody oh. tried to call me, but, uh, oh, we've been okay. That was Chad, right? Here and there and, uh, <laughs> he's coming to the DGC for the first time, so. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's oh, among my, the younger uh, people because of his Sorry hair. About that. I can't hear you guys. <laughs> That's a cool. Hair. <laughs> so, oh, can you guys hear uh, me now? Sorry about that. Yeah, somebody, yeah, yeah. Somebody was calling. So, so how is is probably Chad calling you and shit? <laughs> what? Is, uh, what? No. <laughs> that was a scam, scammer calling me. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, no, I'm not gonna say shit. That'd be fucking. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, scammer calling. Yeah. Uh, so, so uh, with uh, have you grown any of Chad's gear? Because I know a couple of people here are growing Chad's gear. Uh, we know THC Garage <laughs> is growing his Westport grape juice. And I think he's also growing one of his tester tester packs and shit. So, gotcha. yeah. yeah been, so I'll hope. Uh, go ahead. Coming up, uh, hopefully at the DGC, I could talk to him and we could trade a couple of beans, and I could uh, get on get on gear, growing a couple of his strands out. 
my one buddy, he's growing his uh, Westport grape. It's uh, Westport grapes or something. It's grape juice, I think. I call it the Westport grape juice, whether it is or isn't. But that's the one I've been keeping eyes on. And yeah. that F1 is so far, I love his gear. I haven't personally grow it. I just seen pictures and just different documents of it. It looks amazing. Well, we'll know by the end of the summer for sure because, like I said, um, PHC Garage has grown his gear, so we will know for sure if it's boof or if it's not boof. So, which I doubt it's going to be boof because, from what I hear, uh, if you put two fire things together, uh-huh. you usually get fire. So always, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I did with. Uh, that's what I'm crossing my fingers on this cherry bubbles. I hope I don't. I I hope I ain't hyping a Jr. Token and a couple of different guys up about it because I grew the bubble goat one time and it was good. My okay, so you dad, have. My, okay. Yeah, my girlfriend's dad he grew the bubble goat. I think it was four. It was four. He gave me two seeds. I, yeah, it was four because it's six pack thin bubble goat comes in so yeah he grows four of them and uh he had that was his biggest biggest harvest yet on that bubble goat it was uh right around three pounds out of the four plants yep yep and it's stacked oh, yeah. uh it's stacked have, have on you this. smoked both chris what the golden goat have you smoked it I haven't smoked any of uh, Rasta Jeff's uh, gear. I only have a pack of that Lemon Jeffrey that I am going yeah, to no, use. Yeah, I just uh, meant the, the, the strain in general because I think in Colorado it's pretty uh, big name, I'll you know, Golden Jeff. Goat. Yeah, the Golden yeah, yeah. Goat's really big up there. Yeah, yeah. I hear it's pretty good too. But uh, I would Golden think goat. Go ahead. I would think Chris would, would look at it like, uh, I think it has the same kind of like how you are about train wreck. A lot of people yeah, yeah, feel yeah. the same way. You know, love it or hate it. I mean, it's like there's no in between. Yeah, well, I mean, does it have train wreck in it? Because if it does, oh, like I, I know, said. I'm, I'm just saying the similarities in people's opinions about it is, is, ex- oh, okay. is extreme like train wreck. Like people... Some people love it. Some people say they get tired of it real fast, kind of like you with train wreck. I'm not throwing shade on it. I just know oh, that that's yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Is I'll Golden Ticket one of Ross and Jeff's strains? Golden Ticket? What? I don't think so. No. no. Okay. Yeah. But he yeah, does use Golden Gold. Yeah, he and does. And I don't yeah. know if he yeah. made it. I don't know if no, he yeah, made I think it. That was his first no, one. I, I've heard no, him no, talk no. about it, and that was like one of his early ones. Was the Golden Goat? Well, well, well. I know or, that he didn't go, Golden is like the one of them he didn't make, but he u- was using it for his crosses and shit. And if I, I think remember that's correctly, goat. that's why I he think that's Golden, golden, golden goat, goat too. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I, think I think the sunrise and the sunrise and stuff he made, I believe. Yeah, yeah. The, From the, the Golden rise, Goat, the, ro- the rise is that what it is? Yeah, yeah rise. Yeah. 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 It's male. That's right, right. Yeah, I got his dark. Speaking of the devil, right here, we got THC Garage. What's up, THC? What up, what up? I mean, I could try. Hold on. Let me, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. He's been on my show many times before. Ah. Let's try to get Ross and Jeff on the show. Well, let's see, because I feel like we're talking about his gear. He should be invited. And I've always wanted to grow his stuff because I'm always looking for heady stuff, kind of like John. John likes uppity shit too. That lemon Jeffrey, it, that's a that's a heady right there. Right. I couldn't get enough of that when my girlfriend's dad grew that. Well, that was his biggest plan was lemon Jeffrey, and we took yeah, that I have to, never, took I've never purchased. But I've, I, he's always been on my list of thinking that he's along the the way that I would like to, to smoke. Hell, man, you should uh, DM me on Instagram, and I I can get you a couple. Uh, I think I got a couple lemon Jeffrey seeds I'd get out to you, or I got some dark hollow seeds. They're reg seeds I'd get out to you. That's his. Uh, that's one of his original 
one of his original cuts before he started making all the films was Dark Hollow. It's a rise times Dark Hollow. Yeah, yeah, right. That's his main. Yeah, name. unfortunately, me and the social media, we we don't. Uh, that's that's going to be my downfall that I don't use Insta. <laughs> Got gotcha. you. But I appreciate the the offer for sure. Or hell, I get probably Chris could probably get a hold of me on that, you know, with your uh, address, or I could send them out to Chris and he could ship them out right. to you. Or if that works out, I'd be down. Yeah, because man, anybody should grow his lemon, Jeffrey. Man, that thing's it's a beast. What was the one you grew, John? Wasn't it from Seven O Seven, a lemon tie that you said was pretty good? Pineapple tie from 707. Pineapple tie. Yeah. You Sounds said you really like it. And wasn't it kind of fast too? Yeah, it's um it's great uh energy weed. Um, you know, not not too fast like anxiety fast, but um um it's just a great uplifting feeling, got a great pineapple taste. Um well, it sounds uh, like lemon jeffrey and pineapple tie together might be good. Yeah. <laughs> My my daughter loves that pineapple tie uh, in the daytime for, you know, chasing after the kids and getting shit done. And Damn, sure. exactly. like, it's kind of like that. Like it makes you feel good. Um, you got energy, you get shit done that you maybe you really don't want to do. Otherwise. So it's, it's, it but don't smoke it before bed. Functional daytime um, smoke. Yeah. Sorry. You know? What's the flowering time on that? Uh, I want to say 72, but I could be. Uh, yeah. That's not too long. Oh, sorry. You're okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was usually done here in Connecticut. We we pulled the pineapple tie, um, like third third week October. Huh. You know. So, that sounds really interesting, right there. Which is it's got, it's like a sativa that'll finish in time, which is rare. You know. And that was seven oh seven, correct? To November and December, and that, that shit don't work out here. Okay. 707, I don't correct? 707, yeah. 707 Pineapple Town. Huh. I do believe they're still for sale. Um, It, it was a while ago I bought them. Heck well, yeah, I want to do both of those and put them together. That's that's something, like I've said before, a couple of the strains that we've been we've been running every year to kind of discover what, what me and, and, and my um my family like. And and pineapple tie is one of them. You know, it's it, it it wasn't the strongest smoke. It wasn't a knockout. It wasn't a holy shit that was fucking powerful. It was good, but again, for the effective uh, energy that it gives you, um, it's something that w that we're gonna run in, in in our gardens every year. It it it, it became staple. Um, so heck yeah, that's that big like a, staple. Yeah, no. exactly. It's I, I'm gonna work with that every year. You know, so. John, when you, you talked about it not being the strongest, but it, you certainly have a love for it. Do you think now knowing more about the different cannabinoids, you think maybe it had some other stuff in there, like oh, yeah. some CBG or CBD? So? Yeah, yeah. I, I would guess CBG. We, we didn't test anything. Um, but, yeah, it's just it, it's a nice, you know, a, some of those strains, like we said before, it's um, it's not always the strongest weed that that's effective you know and brain test brain test right is there. all the testing i'm interested in yeah and certainly if if, if a certain uh strain or a certain um you know uh type of marijuana makes you feel a certain way and that works for you at a certain time whether it makes you sleepy to go to sleep it, it gives you energy to start your day whatever it is you know takes away wow. your nausea um there's there's some stuff out there this thcv that I, i'm interested in getting into um mm -hmm. reduces appetite um huh. for people that are trying to lose weight um and and that's a great thing because most weed obviously is the opposite it induces appetite so yeah if, if you had one in the box that you could go to like maybe right before bed where you didn't want to go eat a whole big ass bowl of cereal you know uh, or whatever so yeah, man, there's a, it, that pineapple ties definitely got something unique. Um, again, it's not the strongest. It's probably, if it were tested, not going to come up in the high 20 percentage is for, uh, for THC. Um, but it is, it is effective medicine. Uh, you know, everybody. What about the Jeffrey Banker? An IG weed. So you, you what is it? What, what's effective? How do you feel about the Jeffrey? Tell us about it. I mean, you said it was kind of the same thing, motivational, but can you yeah, expand on that? Like, more of it's a, a get you your head feeling, get you get you going, 
then once it starts wearing down, it's more of like it goes into more of a little body, like kind of a body oh. effect. So it's even, yeah. I yeah, like that too. Yeah, at first you get that head high, then it wears down into a body, and it it feels like it helps with the best when it's wearing down with my arthritis because I got arthritis. Oh, see? The there you go. Head. And that's what the bubble goat is too. The bubble goat it helps out with my pain. It's more of an indica, I feel like. Like it's. It gives you that head high, but then it's more of a body effect you're getting. So I'm more leaning towards like an indica on that. You seem young to be having arthritis pains. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm twenty. I'm 28, and I beat my body up. Snow. I've been snowboarding for the last 20 years, and wakeboarding, right. skateboarding, landing, just landing on your wrist and stuff, or catching you, man. It's then football. Yeah. You know, football. I, I started having problems with my wrists and my hands when I was in my late 20s. And they tried to treat me for uh, arthritis and, and they gave me NASADs and it blew out my stomach and my digestion's never been the same. Then uh, I, my GP tested me for carpal tunnel uh, about 10, 12 years ago. And she says, no, no, you're fine. Well, then last summer they did a nerve conduction study finally, and I shorter to the story is I got surgery in uh, Thursday of this week for carpal tunnel. Sorry. So, that, hopefully it well, no, it's, it's just what I'm saying it is you might have some reason for it, and and don't give up on it because when you do finally do it, you know, it's like I've got muscle atrophy now, and that translates to loss of dexterity. Had a gotten it taken care of when I was your age and been persistent about Ladies getting that nerve conduction study or, or really finding out what it was, I wouldn't have that. Have so really I'm, I'm saying don't give up on your All hands. Right. Follow through with it. You're too young to give up and have problems. Joel from North Star Janetta. What's up, everyone? What's yeah. up, Joel? How you doing, How's brother? It going? <coughs> Getting ready to go out in the yard, do some work in the greenhouses and stuff. Uh, it's gonna have a little smoke and a little lunch before I get going. So, hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Heck yeah, heck yeah. What are you smoking? Right now, it's some sweet tea. Intestines. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's the time of year. I don't, I don't really go much indoor for myself, so I do my tester runs and I have just all the test stuff. I just smoke that to the oh, winter, all my you. test stuff. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts till I start harvesting greenhouses, but yeah. it probably won't. <laughs> huh. How does that how's that how does that work for you? You like that, Jewel? Uh, it's pretty decent. I have um like I said, I still have probably maybe another three quarter ounce worth of just miscellaneous shit to test through that I've already made my selections all now. I'm just smoking the rest of it. Gotcha. Um I have uh, another run that I'll be harvesting in about ten days of test stuff, so I'm hoping that that gets harvested and dried and cured before I'm totally out of everything here. <laughs> Cause I know as far as the greenhouses go, I mean, I just flipped one to flower. The other ones are still in bed. So I'm off until summertime pretty much <laughs> with them. So, and if you uh, ever need any, if you ever need any boof, just come to Sacramento and I'll hook you up with some <laughs> free of charge. I don't. So like, I, like I always, Anybody that comes to Sacramento, I usually hook them up with a couple ounces, depending on how many people oh, they're with them. If they got if they got four people with them, I'll hook them up with four ounces and shit. I think you know he's down saying? for going your shit. You know, he, he likes doing I'm mystery meat, like so he's down for some sack town seeds. <laughs> yeah. What I have what I have on hand right now is uh I grew uh I grew obsoletes uh Orange, orange uh, cookies, guava cube, his orange sherbet guava cube. I grew um, uh, Kevin Jodry's, uh, um, his 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 seed increase of crickets and cicadas, <laughs> red Lebanese into the puck. Um, I got uh, some. Uh, uh, boneyard gear stuff, some, uh, and I have uh, Atlas C Company's stuff, some super sour runts, and and uh, that's the only one that's really 
we're talking one about second. the other one, one second. I gotta do one thing. wasn't that good <laughs> but yeah um yeah i i i i get and i'm tired of all of them probably like in <laughs> very next month and stuff so uh, it's it sucks but no, there's three to me that were really good and that was the and that was the the orange cookies guava cuvee and the, well that was the better of the two so the over the orange sherbet guava cuvee and the orange uh cookies guava cuvee the orange cookies was better uh, so i'm not going to mention the orange sherbet in that aspect wow, but really that good. one and the uh Mac one space cheese was good and um and uh, uh super sour runts was really good and that's the uh the the uh, uh what is it again what 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 runts is it it's the red runts red runts it's the red runts into uh the Kim dog the Kim D yeah so that sounds that sounds it like that sounds like something that gets hit you back right there Chris. Oh yeah, hey, it does. Joe. It's fucking super strong. Super super May strong. May I ask you a question, Joe? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm out of out of your line. Uh, what we were talking about motivational strains. What would you say is one of the most uh, motivational strains that you have as far as getting up and getting shit done? Uh, for me, it's almost anything with the Colombian in it. That that just really gets me moving all the time. It has the, the really upbeat Colombian buzz, but the, the cheese cut into it takes the anxi anxiety level down, so it doesn't, like, you're not, you're not counterproductive. Right. Right? You're scatterbrained. It gets you up and moving mm -hmm. and focused at the same That's time. Focused. So I, I right. like to go with even F2 of that, Colombian itself, or any of the crosses. I mean, um, I'd say ideally something that brings it down even a little bit more, like the Darkwood cross with it, the Santa Marta sling. A little more body into it, but it's enough that it's still. You feel light. You feel light and ready to go. Kind of. You're you're, you're right. You're just on point. I don't know how to put it other than that. <laughs> I, I this, appreciate like, that. Off the list, I, was, shit done. I was almost <laughs> right there on point. You know. Yeah, I, I I'm aware of you, and I've I've seen your catalog, but I you know it's one that I don't have memorized. So I'm glad you were able to kind of steer me the right way. Um. I just made a whole a whole menu of uh, third dimension stuff. That's pretty uplifting too, with the uh, the Apollo Jack Cross. So that gets you moving too. Uh, I do find oh. that you might find a female in some of them. They're definitely more anxiety producing. The yeah, Apollo, that yeah, definitely don't want good. that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, there's definitely stuff in there. Look through, you can find something there that's, that's, that's gonna fit the bill too. But for me, anything with the Chalumbian in it because it's really it is upbeat, really sativa, motivational with just no anxiety in it though. It's just it's, it's, it's like upbeat and happy. It's not like worried about not getting shit done because you're amped up. It's you're looking forward to getting shit done. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm getting real excited about is that like I said, I'm about maybe a week and a half or so from starting to harvest some of this tester. I have LA confidential, which I, I bought the seeds shit 16 years ago. Now I've only, I have, I have like four females there coming down. I haven't had that in so long. I lost it shortly after I moved here about 16 years ago, 15 years I ago. Used to have the, so I, I used to have the Snowland Times LA really Confidential. Nice and then I have a, a nice batch of uh, Sour Bubble 4 from BOG. I had grown that maybe oh, about 12, yeah. 13 years ago. And I have another nice batch of that coming in. So I have some really good plants to make selections from. I'm really psyched about it. Cool. Yeah, uh, I like that too. The um, Super Cantaloupe from DNA. Looking really good. It's just <laughs> my patience is waning because I, I, every, everything else in that greenhouse, did not the greenhouse, but everything else in that tent's gonna be coming out. And I want to, I want to smoke that too. I, I have to like let that go for at least three or four weeks here. Right it, it, it wants to go, but it's got. Yeah, I had the DNA, uh, the Snowland uh, Times LA Confidential, and I kind of had the same thing with that. I wanted to love it. I wanted to like it, but I just couldn't find the right pheno, and some of them just were, you know, it's taking me too long. Yeah, I've been, I've been asked multiple times since I've been posting up growing with the LA show, and people are like, you're going you're gonna to breed with it, you're going to breed with it. And I keep saying, well, I would love to breed with it, but I got to make sure that what I, you know, it's got to be good shit. I can't just, just because of what the genetics right. are, you just can't take it and run with it. You still have to, if, if you're not if you're not willing to grow it and smoke because you really like it, then you shouldn't be making the seeds with it. <laughs> I will agree 100%. So, um, I have I have one one solid LA male. He looks really good, and I think I have I have 
four nice looking females right now. So um, my fingers are crossed out of those four females. I find one that really just stands out. And uh, I'll make some F2s of that. And we'll play around with some of that stuff. I haven't had that in a long time. That's definitely a good smoke. And let's see. I have to go in um, the um, the uh, Super Silver Haze Time Martian Mean Green from them. That was a tester pack I got from them in the 2006 can. Damn. Damn. It's, it, it sounds like you like the, the heady. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at your stuff because pretty much everything you've said, I think I would be interested in. Yeah, I like a lot of sativa stuff. I like a little, I like older, I like super silver haze, haze crosses. Um, now, what about flowering times of your line? Which ones are the faster finishers, but still hit those notes? Well, the third dimension line is going to come in faster than Chalumbian, and it's still going to have the high sativa notes in it. But I think you might find some uh, anxiety in some of those in some of those crosses. Most of the Chalumbian stuff's around. 10 to 12 weeks depending on how much of the Colombian dominance pops up right uh it's just a cool. matter of finding the one that has that fits you know the, the, the feel you like of it and it's the shortest flower one so probably I, mean, I have a third dimension Colombian, so the third dimension brings the flowering time down now it's just a matter of if that right. Colombian knocks down the anxiety enough to give you say a, a nine and a half ten week with a sort of team right. at the same time you might find it yeah, I like 10 weeks. I mean, you know, 12, I've, I've let stuff go 12 and I can do it, but it just, it just wreaks havoc for me. Like, you yeah, know, I, I, I'm I patient up to great. seven and after 70. <laughs> I believe a lot of stuff I like goes 12 weeks. I, I, sometimes I, I try to organize it. So like my it last just the year, the year, I have some plants that have to go longer. So I harvest it and leave the rest of the plants to finish up. But in the middle of the year, it's kind of hard to harvest the greenhouse and leave like three plants going for another half a month or more. Indoors, like, indoors the same way. It messed your whole schedule up. No, I missed the whole grow. I missed the whole cycle. <laughs> Waiting for the one, one yeah. plant coming in. I'll be right back. I well, I appreciate you first. sharing that. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll grab a little bud to smoke. Hell yeah. Yes. Yes. Where, where, where's uh, where's Rory going? Where are you at, Rory? Hey, THC. What up? Yeah. What up? Where's my shit? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I was like, where's my shit? I'm gonna have to call the mail guy. He might have to personal deliver. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> hand it's a, it's right. a, yeah. I just sent it this That's morning. Okay. So. Nice. It should take a couple I'm days. Just, I'm just not far away. You, man. It's all good. Yeah, That's, I send you the Panama okay. and I send you the Mexican too. If you want to play Panama. with it. Chris, who can make right, his so, so big? <laughs> oh, what? He, or, or, what who? He's what? showing flower. What, what happened? Oh, oh, is he? All right, go for it. He was showing his bud. Yeah. Yeah, he oh yeah, oh, and, uh, dude, I love that, bud, dude. I love the fox selling. I fucking as sucks. a grower, I love that shit. That's fucking sick as fuck. Space clean, dude. That's sick. <laughs> that bud looks fire too. Looks all triked uh, out. This gets you up and going for sure. It's a little racy. Um, I don't say it gives me paranoid, but it, it can uh, <laughs> make me kind of a uh, scatterbrain. Like like half finished shit. So. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have too much to really table that. I got some hand work to do, but <laughs> I hope I can stay on track after this. Oh, I, I don't want to get controversial and everything, but what, what, what was the story again, guys, on um, Jack Hare's <coughs> son and everything? What was the thing going on with him and shit that you guys were talking about? What well, was Ooh, something about uh, his dad's his dad's uh, Jack Harris strain and shit? His uh, something know, about dude. getting the cut and <laughs> what, what, was it something like that? Something. I have no what, idea what, what, what was about. what was the whole what was the whole Jack Harris thing? Anybody anybody remember what the hell that story was? No. I don't know what the fuck yeah. it was. I, I've been looking for the Jack his for son, the but I don't know about any drama. I I saw some interview with his son talking <laughs> about. But yeah, I got nothing. Okay, okay, okay. I just, 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 
I know I heard a story and shit. I don't know who it was it. It was something about about him, and I was like, "What? Are you serious?" Because I met him and shit. And he's really nice. I met him over at the Emerald Cup, over at the Emerald Cup uh, war ceremony, and I and uh, I smoked a joint with him and shit. Uh, one of his dad's joints and shit, or the he's selling joints and shit of it. His on under his dad's uh, name. So Dang. you know. That's yeah, fun. so yeah, it was it was good weed and um and I like I said I remember smoking with Jack and shit, and he was quite fond of his own weed. Um, he would talk shit about your weed. I had I had strawberry <laughs> cough at the time that I got from oh, Humboldt yeah. and shit. You know, I came down didn't, from Humboldt because didn't Cincy uh, Seed make that strain and then named it in his honor? Is that correct? Yeah. I, if I right. remember correctly, I remember him saying that somebody created it for him. Cincy um, Seed. Cincy Seed. Yeah. yeah. Cincy Seed oh, with, hi, with, hi, with, him, with him helping. Because I right. remember him saying that. He was helping. With he it. helped select. He helped select yeah. the phenos that he yeah, liked. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, well, like I said, he would come uh, over because I used to work in Old Sacramento. And he would go to Hemp in the Heartland in Old Sacramento and bring signed books and signed books there and shit. And every time he would come through, my homeboy that owned the shop and shit would call me up and I'd come bring chocolate and munchies and shit. And uh, like I said, little did I know that uh, he had diabetes and shit. And I'm over here feeding fucking diet. Fucking uh, candy or two of and, he's taking and, it, and he's taking it. <laughs> taking it. Taking it. Taking it. Eating it all. Fucking took the whole fucking bag, started munching on it right away. Did not even wait to, for anybody to slap it out of his hand or anything or say like, anything. Don't tell and, my family. Don't tell my family. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it was either Eddie Lepp or fucking um, uh, the other guy that fucking. Uh, it was probably Rice Eddie Lepp, I bet. But yeah, that was rolling with him in the minivan and shit. I don't remember. All I remember him fucking telling uh, my friend telling me, going, you know who this is? I knew, like, yeah, he wrote that book, you know, uh, The Emperor Wears No Clothes, and he's a, a witch caller. But I didn't know, like, I was 28, 20, 20, right around there. So I really didn't, I wasn't, didn't have any bearings on who he was and everything as how important it was I, who I was smoking with and shit. Um, so I pulled I up Seed Finder. It Seed Finder says it's Northern Lights 5 times Northern Lights 5 times skunk number 1 is what made up the Jack career from yep. Cincy. Yep. That Jack, I, that Jack Hair, I grew that as an auto flower and that was my biggest auto flower I ever had. It was a 6 foot auto flower. I didn't top it. It uh, produced a half pound for me after it was dry. Yeah, I believe Saney seeds work that to like a F8 or something like that. Because I know they always said like that was one you could flip immediately from seed. Like no veg, just you know, as soon as Damn. it sprouts, turn it back and it would still grow, you know. Again, six foot or something crazy. Uh huh. Mm. My, uh, my storm trooper. My, my, my storm trooper. Man, that, if it grows out fast, man, it grows out fast. It came, man. Run out of food faster. What is that? Storm trooper, you said? Yeah, let me see yeah it again. storm trooper from, uh, let me, uh, let me some see. mycelium? Yeah. Spores and stuff? To inoculate yeah. it. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Liquid culture. Stormtrooper oh, by Fruity yeah. Spores. I'm going about ready to inoculate one of my, uh, I got some totes over there. I'm about ready to inoculate one of those bad boys. Yeah, to Nazi. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. he sent me a reset pack for my uh, personal fable. He sells uh, personal fables, then he gets created a Sanazi tote. It's a 32 quart tote. That's what I'm about ready to. I'm about ready to start running his new Sanazi tote. He gets created. I haven't seen nice. it yet. Nice. Yeah, I got it on my. Uh, if you guys have Instagram or anything, I uh, I advertise uh, on. Uh, I advertise him on my page. He's one of my uh, 
he's one of my sponsors for my in- Instagram page. Oh, oh nice, great, nice. Yeah, yeah I ain't even to right, if you I'm youngsters. Say bye. <laughs> I'm off to the dungeon. Okay. Got to get to work. Have, have and a uh, red primo. Have a good one, Big D. I never, I never formally said hello to you. So nice to meet you. Well, you're on mute. Who's, uh, who's heading out? Thank you. Uh, Sorry about thanks that. For having me. Nice thanks to meet you too. To nice to meet yeah, you. And the next time I come on, me. I want somebody to give me some info for CBD stuff for my dog because I want to start trying to help him with his arthritis. Oh, but okay. That's the next time. I know. I know. Greenfingers right. looks like he's ready to talk to you about it. It was, but no one. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I mean, I, got, I mean, I got a few minutes. I mean, I can. St- I mean, I can hang out a minute if you want to finish a thought. No, he said <laughs> come back. Hit the, right. hit the, hit right. the link well, later after the after yeah, the show. After the show, we'll talk about right. it. Bye, everybody, and uh, thanks See a lot, Joel, for the information. Yeah, All later, right. big, big D. D. And nice to meet you too, Dankster. Y'all take it easy. Nice to meet you. Nice right. to meet you. Bye. So just to bring you up to date, Joel, uh, Big D, um, it, it was a listener that finally came on last week, or and and it took him a while because he's a Gen Xer too. So it took him a while to figure out how to do it and stuff, and. And uh, on another show that uh, was affiliated with this show, uh, somebody flashed, uh, uh, flashed, and 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 we're and with a name like Big D, we were afraid that that's what was going to happen and stuff. <laughs> so we were just waiting for it to happen, and he couldn't figure out the camera and shit. And finally, he got a new camera, shit, a fucking new phone and shit. And he's all like, "Okay, I'm going to show you who I look like because I don't want you guys thinking I'm going to flash you guys and shit." So he finally, he finally showed us what he looked like and shit, and and, and he didn't flash us. So that was always a good thing when. We, when somebody new comes on and he's been, he's been a long time uh, listener for like, and watcher for a couple of years now. So, so yeah, he, he's, yeah. And he finally came on. So we always, we always hope that um, people come on and everything. If they've been watching, I understand that there's prohibition and uh, the people are living in prohibition land and they don't want to come on and stuff and show off their grove because they're afraid uh-huh. that, uh, of the law and shit, you know what I'm saying? And so we're totally understandable you, you about that, man. Yeah. And yeah, and we get we're we're uh, we have a lot of people from uh, other countries and stuff that that are uh, that are watching. And I would hope implore that they would come on, like Benny Ben and and uh, uh, and uh, a lot of the other guys from from uh, all over the UK and and everywhere. So I wish they would uh, all jump on as well. That way we can. Uh, you know, I, I don't care if they don't show off their grow and stuff because I understand, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, we've also had people that come on that would get straight shit face drunk and shit on here uh-huh. and progressively started slurring and slurring. And I, was like, I'm like, I had to tell them, I go, dude, I'm like, dude, it's like hung, hanging out with my drunk uncle, dude. <laughs> I do not like hanging out with my drunk <laughs> uncle, okay? That's the worst. He starts fucking it. slurring. It's like, dude, I'm sorry, bro, but, you know, I, if you're going to yeah, come yeah. on here drinking shit and get shit-faced, dude, you know, uh-huh. like, yeah, I understand if you're doing FICO and stuff and you're, you're dozing off and stuff, uh, but please don't come on here and fucking <laughs> start slurring. I'm all like, dude, what? Huh? I don't understand. Then he talked about that shot life. That's acceptable after that. I don't know if it's in that group. I was in that room. Jesus, I don't know if it's in that Jesus, group. Jesus, that one. Oh, Jesus, it pumped him out. Joel, I have a question about your um, your death your death row OG. What size? Yeah. Does that get it big? Or is that like a medium sized plant, Joel? The death, it, the death row? It's an cube, basically. So it's a back back crawl three times it, it stretches out a lot of og stretch to it easily uh i'd say two okay. two and a half times stretch good deal that's the one i'm probably looking at i have I'm a uh, death pro male right now i was waiting to get some room set up so i can use him to 
further on the uh, health line a little bit further. Even okay. though it's, it's, it's the same, it's, man, the Alcatraz mail is, I used to make that with is such a stud. It's hard to, I don't know if I even need to go any further looking for OG stuff. He just delivers every single fucking time I use them. So <laughs> awesome. it's kind of for kids. Sounds like a winner like, right there. Better, maybe a little bit different yeah. Or something or, I'll mix them That's together. what I'm looking at right now. I've been looking at that menu for the last month. Just well, I, right I'll tell here. you what. Uh, on it right now. Just looking at it. Yeah, what I do all day is look at see. Heck yeah. Until until the 31st, that, that menu's on sale. Heck yeah. And that, would, and that would end the Jesus OG menu. Both on sale the whole month. So. Are That's you a breeder you yourself, Jewel? Sorry, not to interrupt. Is Jewel a breeder? Me? Yeah. Are you, do you sell? Sure, yeah. I've, I've been I've been a breeder. I've been out <laughs> here for uh, close to twenty years. I mean, North Star has been up and running for over fifteen years. I'm um, just getting. I'm sorry. I'm just getting new into the. Okay. Just getting nah, new I, into I the game. Off, um, started off about shit twenty five years ago, just growing in Jersey and stuff, and then after a couple cycles of growing. Uh, just, you know, finding a lot of inconsistent right. bullshit all the time, trying to find something that I can definitely rely on. So I just started, I go from C to to keep anything. I started keeping some clones. And then after finally finding a few things I liked, I started making my own seed because it was yeah, just good. tired of trying like, to yeah. find shit, getting bullshit. Like, I ordered, went through a lot of different, like, BC Bud Depot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything was bullshit coming out of there back in the uh, early 2000s. It was, it was horrendous, some of the stuff you'd come across. Yeah. <laughs> so, like it was Terry definitely Saloma. a priority to, you know, when I find something good to keep it and then make some more seed with it so I can at least, if I had to start back, start some more so I could find something. And that just grew. And I got, okay, we went to California about, let's see, 2007. I already had, you know, small selections of stuff I had made in Jersey. And I started breeding some more out here. I had access to a lot of clones out here and everything. And um, within no time at all, I was you know, demand for my 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 stocks, I started selling stock locally in Sonoma County and everything. And then I worked with, um, yeah. I was the salesperson for the TGA subcool seeds for a while. Went back and <laughs> bred a majority of stuff for them. I produced all the, a lot of their stock, about 70% of it. Then I bred a whole bunch of the new stuff, all the, uh, well, the whole dead likes line, a lot of Pennywise stuff to cross with. Um, <laughs> Damn. Purgatory, killer grapes. I mean, all kinds of shit that was. Do you, do you have a spirit? Do you have a spirit with Chernobyl? Do you got Chernobyl? Pardon me? Do you got Chernobyl? Do you got spirit with Chernobyl? I don't grow Chernobyl. No, I, I don't like that. The, uh, the blood red clay I ever made Chernobyl with, I made um, dark wood with that, which is I had actually had that in clone. Wait a minute. So you the one made it? Wait a minute. You said you made it? Well, I'm not that Joel. That's a different Joel. We both <laughs> Oh, I got gotcha. um, I, I had that'd be great, had bro. From Joel, we were. I, I know him. I, 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 Joel gave Joel the blood wreck. We swapped. Oh, stuff wow! I, I made all this other stuff with that. Uh, our Dude. other friend Badger, he actually made the uh, Chernobyl after Joel stopped working with Sub. After they broke up, gotcha. we all had lots of this. He kept, he kept bred the Chernobyl a few more times. Uh, as now, um, groundbreaking seeds. They they've taken Chernobyl to the F three, I mean, Chernobyl Vortex, and they've crossed. I got. I, I got, got the first release. I got the first yeah. release. That's uh, Chernobyl is mm -hmm. one of my favorite streams from SoCo. So I love too yeah. cold. So cold it was the man, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I and do, uh, I love I, it, I man. Chernobyl uh, and Pandora's box. They both get giant. Golden ticket. No. What happened with the cuvee? Does anybody I'll have find that? the golden ticket in there, man. Cuvee was, was, was the uh, the Pinot clone. Uh, I never had that one because Sub just had that himself, and that got lost okay. in the fire. So yeah, that's what fire, I remember. Uh, yeah. What up, Addy? They around for a while. That's the last I know of that. I mean, there's several people oh, who made stuff like this, so it's out and about all over the place. Okay. I'm sure you can find F2 stock of that pretty easy. So what was the genetics behind this Chernobyl? And I'm curious because I grew uh, vice versa last year, and well, Golden Ticket is one of the ones behind that. The story behind that is uh, Joel Dioxide, the guy that bred that, basically he had a, a buddy of his, a friend, not to be a buddy, a, a person he knew of his, that the grower that grew Don't Trainwreck do. and Trinity. It was his two main strains he had in his, um, in his grow house. 
And it literally came from a bag of butt he had bought from him of train wreck. Okay. Um, being that it didn't come across straight train wreck flavor, he had surmised it's possibly a, a, a cross of the train he permed out into the train wreck or something. Never been oh, wow. confirmed, but basically it came from a yeah. bag of train wreck seeds that dioxide had bought a bag of butt. Have you, do you have the experience growing train wreck just out of curiosity? Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you bred with train wreck? Uh, not specifically now. I, I I grew it okay. like twice myself. I didn't really care for it so much. I, I like some of the crosses with it better, but uh, none of the I've I love the none of the cuts. I've never grown a train wreck from seeds. I never actually know who had some real train wreck seeds. None, none of the cuts I had gotten a train wreck I felt were were original enough or good enough. They weren't. I mean, I don't think they were that great. Now I I had smoked some uh, train wreck from a local dispensary in like two thousand eight. That was fucking fire. I've never, never <laughs> heard of that. I'd like to get to see a cut of that one. Smoke. That was delicious, but I haven't, I haven't smoked that one yet. So I've, I've grown. So I don't know whether the cuts I have tried was boofed out or, or what. But let me ask you a question. Did you have, did you, uh, oh, damn it. I just lost my thought. Something about train wreck. Cause I, I grew the Humboldt Sea Company's train wreck and, um, and, it was it was black licorice to a T. Like it brought me back. Like okay, so here in Sacramento, as I don't know if you were here back in the '90s and everything, uh, we were inundated with train wreck, train wreck, cat piss, and um, I'm trying to think of the other one that was a, a lot of. Uh, oh, can't I can't remember the other one. I know there's another one that I'm thinking of. Green crack, but we had a lot of the a lot of that shit. That green crack. No, no, not blue green. No, no. Yeah, yeah. It was, so we we had a lot of that shit. So when I smelt the train wreck, it fucking was like uh, the hot tub fucking time machine and shit. It fucking blew me back into the '90s and shit, and I was like. I'm telling you, right when the first trike was on there, I just touched it and smelt it, and instantaneously I knew that was train wreck. Like, nice. Um, yeah, my cousin in the early 2000s kept getting train wreck on accident, and he was getting pissed. He's like, fucking did it to me again. Another fucking train wreck. And shit, I, I guess it was over at the one, the Clear Lake, uh, the Clear Lake uh, dispensary and shit. Uh, that, wasn't kept an giving them f- that wasn't an accident. They were just trying to get rid of all that product, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no fucking train <laughs> wreck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man, yeah, so I didn't even recognize yeah. you, brother. Nobody else wanted it. I know, they man. Get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> we must so, have. I didn't even we, recognize you, brother. Look, so, you changed. So, <laughs> backstory, back Joel, so you know who this is. So, We Mustard Grows is from Chicago. And uh, he hasn't been on the show for about, I don't know, eight months or so. A minute. So, this is his first return. I didn't even recognize him, brother. He talked. <laughs> Cool. So last time, which last time we we heard from We Monster Grows, he was uh, remodeling his house or fixing a house that he was gonna move into, and shit. So we don't know if he moved into that house. We don't know anything. So what happened? Did you yeah, end up moving to the house? All moved in. Are you man. there? All moved in. Got my gross. Got part of my got got a tent set up. I got two tents set up. Got the outdoor set up. Got the backyard. Got the greenhouse set up. But indoors, got a couple tents. And uh, yeah, thanks for asking, man. Oh yeah, Cheers. oh yeah, right. dude. You got one hitter right quitter. On. I was gonna ask about that. You guys that grow that one hitter quitter, right? Yes. Yeah, oh, we all grew it down there. Everybody, everybody on the panel grew it now. That's awesome. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have no, not. I haven't. Yeah, I, haven't I haven't either. I haven't tried yet. Boneyard. Shout out to Boneyard. I, I uh, grew it. Right on, right on. So I was going to ask you or ask Tony when I saw him next. Um, I've got uh, one. All the other ones pretty much look the same. They are, you know, 
the structure and everything is the same. I called a bunch of the males out and I'm left with like uh, four females I got right now. And three of them look pretty much exactly the same, right? Okay. They all got big leaves and little leaves. Big, big leaves, leaves and little leaves, right? Yeah. Now, one yeah. of them has all little Short leaves. Short and stocky. One of them has all little leaves. It's tall as fuck. It has all little leaves. Yeah, I'll show it to you. Yeah, dude, that's an anomaly. That's a different <laughs> one. That's, that's, a, that's a unicorn, bro. <laughs> Yeah, that's the <laughs> unicorn of those. Yeah, yeah, that's the unicorn. That's but rogue pollen. Yeah, rogue hey, pollen. Hey, what up, Corey? Rogue what are you doing, bro? What I was gonna say is it like, uh, is that more of the space cheese, uh, or is it more of the? Uh, I don't think there's space dog? cheese in it. Is there space cheese in? I'm not sure. I yeah, it's, it's, it's it's one star dog space cheese. Is, I thought yeah. it was. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Star dog space cheese. Yeah, it it might be it might be um uh so th the space cheeses that I have had are usually sh are stocky uh with a lot of leaf a lot of leaf in it. Are the leaves small right. or big? Are they small or are they? They're big? all fat. They're they're both. They're both. Okay, see, that's how okay. I got three of them like that. It's both. But then I got this one. It's just got all small leaves. And I was like, wow, I wonder if that's like the space cheese. Or I, it that's perfect. probably more the star dog. dog. I right think on. that's probably more the star dog. Right okay. Uh, I'm just perfect. guessing because everything that I've had that had space cheese in it yeah, was kind of always kind of short, of stocky, strong or slow, uh, slow growing. growing. And, and they're slow yeah. growing. Okay, those those one those space those uh those uh ones are are slow growing, but well, they should not, start. This one's bigger than all the rest. It fucking it even jumped up. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's probably Star Dog then. Right on. Yeah, that's yeah. probably Star Dog. All right, I was wondering because I was like, damn, I wonder what fucking variation I got here. You know. <laughs> I find a, a keeper or what? So I'm definitely going to keep it. Well, I'm, it smells a little bit different than the other ones, too. So Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The, the, the one I had was a cut, I think. Yeah, it was. Uh, and it smelled like marker. Yeah. Black marker. That's what my wife said. And she was completely, and this is before everybody starts saying black marker and shit, okay? And my, my wife said uh, two years ago, yeah, that shit smells like black marker. Yeah, and then right. everybody started yeah. using black marker and shit. And yeah, I was yeah, all like, and, uh, ink, you know, I was thinking of a paper press because I used to go to the newspaper company all the time and deliver rolls, giant rolls of fucking newspaper when I was driving 18 wheelers and shit. I would take these giant rolls that would, they're like fucking bigger than cars, man. They would use these giant forklifts and pull them off the fucking 18 wheeler. They were fucking huge, like 4,000, 5,000 pounds a piece and shit. But, uh, I would always wow. get that uh, smell from the presses, you know, all the ink and shit in there. So I can definitely, I hear that that black ink. I get that black ink. Oh, but uh, I'm gonna take some chores. I gotta get to grab myself some lunch. Yeah, so. It's nice to see you, brother. Nice yeah, yeah, dude. Great game, brother. Any, any anytime you want to drop in, just uh, just let me know, and I'll I'll send you shoot you a link, right. man. You're always you're always welcome. Just like you just yeah, did good. today. That's this all you. The, so you got to do North Star. We're all just, yeah, oh, we're, we're just all, we're, like I said, we're all just hanging out and s smoking weed and talking s stupid stuff sometimes, smart stuff other times. And <laughs> another time. <laughs> all right. When have we ever talked about smart stuff, Chris? Uh, we were just talking about smart stuff. <laughs> That's what you I don't know, man. I think it's smart stuff when we're talking about gardening. Right. I agree with you. Right on. <laughs> but like I said, um, I think you're gonna you're gonna um to me it was a very sedative cross. So uh, with the black marker one. So if you really want something that's gonna uh, make you go to sleep, that's a good one for it. Oh, I can't wait, man. Okay. I can't wait to try it. Yeah. I'm like, because it, yeah, it's like anytime I find something like that in a grow when I'm growing, it's like, oh, I'm yeah, like in the candy store and shit. Like, oh, I got extra. Like, what's this? Like, I got something. Yeah. Like, 
Like I went and ordered a bunch of Worthers and I ended up with a big, you know, fireball inside my bag. You know, I was like, man, where are all these caramels and where does cinnamon fireball come from? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, yeah all right. I love these, you know. But I was like, oh, yeah, so what, I got something extra in here, you know. So that was pretty cool. That's always fun. Then I figured, then I'm trying oh, to yeah. Then, then I'm like, oh, I gotta track down what I got, you know. I'm like, like, what, 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 what popped hey. up here, you know? What, what sprung out and showed its face again, you know? <laughs> hey, just out of curiosity, guys. I, from learning from Bone, he was always explaining that process of the alleles, how that, you know, in breeding, every now and nature throws that out there, and you just get these, you know, offshoots that come out, right, of different uh, the okay. alleles, the genetics that that spring up throughout, you know. A bunch you get a bunch of regular seeds and that's what the benefits of it is you know you're not getting the feminized you're not getting stuff that's like trying to be locked in you get free range free range seeds there you go weed monster how the hell you been man you still got your electric scooter hey 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 yeah man i'm good hey <laughs> nice to see you grumpy green fingers chris everybody yeah man i'm about uh, heck yeah guy. man hey, hey. Just, uh, I was going hey, you better, you better, you better stay off the bridges back there. They're knocking bridges down with ships now. Oh yeah, yeah, that was some crazy <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah, what the hell was up with that? Going on, yeah, I can't believe oh I my up god, that dude, the whole fucking bridge gone, dude. I was like in in uh. Baltimore. Who the hell was driving that thing? Was that thing on you autopilot? What the hell is going you know on? What I don't understand he, is, he is, is there's a running. picture of that thing. They're saying that they lost power. But there's a picture of that thing with the bridge laying across the deck and smoke coming out of the smokestack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. They lose power. They drop their anchors. They just they just stop. You know, you drop the anchor. You sit there and you wait. You don't go floating off, letting the fucking current carry you into shit, crashing into fucking. Yeah, the Francis Key Scott That's Bridge crazy. is fucking gone, bro. No longer available. I'm like, and there was a not the whole entire fucker down, dude. I'm like, wow, that he should have put the joint down before he got there, man. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> where is yeah. where nowadays? Well, hey, hey, always, where is this <laughs> in Baltimore? Always, Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, in Baltimore, okay. Nowadays, oh, even up there, even the worst. Yeah, nowadays, I always just expect they're on fentanyl or some kind of uh, opioid or yeah, something. Yeah, I was I like, wow. Fucking meal or something because they're crashing all over the city here in Chicago. Hell, the most. I no, mean, not like, enough. That's the last up. thing I'd be worried about is a boat fucking hitting me, honestly, because they're just shooting the fucking city up all the time. They just killed like Yeah, I'm not worried about boats together. hitting me either, dude, for real. Bullets and shit, not boats. But, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. It's all good. I live yeah. in a pretty good neighborhood. I don't have to worry about it. But like, in the city, no boats coming by. People, they're killing people. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a, an average of the. Uh, they got less statistics. The doctors have a statistics in the ER. The ER, Cook County ER statistics are like, I don't know. This was a few years. This was like five, six years ago that I got the out. It's probably more now, but it was like fifteen stabbings and six gunshot wounds daily. You know what I mean? That, that sounds mention. like below me in Cincinnati, Ohio. Right. And we, we're getting up there with uh, we're getting up there with Louisiana and Mississippi. We're getting up with the murder capitals in Ohio here. Like, what the hell? Well, you know, Gary. Holy crap! Miles, like Gary, any man is like thirty miles right over the border of Chicago. So it's like thirty or forty miles. Not even, you know, a half twenty thirty minute drive and uh. That's the Myrtle capital of the world for like so long. Uh, I don't know what it hey. is. Now. Chicago was definitely up there too. But <laughs> oh yeah, right. Chicago keeps getting worse. Oh, but yeah, it's getting worse now because they just invade. We got a big invasion of all these fucking people, right? From Venezuela and shit. Now they're out on the streets robbing and stealing everything. They're going into all the stores and just walking out with shit that they Damn, want until December. Yeah, they're doing the same thing that uh, everybody, all the blacks did when they rioted. They just go in all the stores and they're stealing. Okay, all the it's, and all the you guys shit. really think that shit's going to be close till December or do you think it's going to be a little bit longer? <laughs> and then knock down three. the whole bridge. Maybe three. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit longer, guys. Sorry. 2027 and it'll be open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little <laughs> bit, a little bit longer than than. Two. I, if you guys are, if you, I think you, I think you, if you're in Baltimore and you're looking at this, uh, I think you should, uh, I think you should I'm think that. Find an alternate route. 
Yeah, find alternate routes. <laughs> and it sucks because look at the look, look, look. <laughs> You're fucked. That's he, no, no, look. When they showed the bridge fall, it didn't look, look like anyone was one around, way. but they said there were six people. The, 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 the very next it, bridge like, over. Wow, going to look today. Completely, <laughs> completely trafficked. Traffic now. Oh, man. It's so fucking. It's just crazy how like, it's all happened, man. Now, there was like, uh, they were saying when I read this morning, they were saying there was 20 or 22 construction workers up there, too. They said there was only oh, six shit. of them actually on the bridge. And they, when that fucker got knocked down, they just disappeared, man. They said they sent divers down already to look and can't find them nowhere. Yeah, there was like seven cars up there, too. I'm like, yeah, I was smoking this morning when that flashed on the TV. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like a drunk boat driver again. What the fuck? And it's what's crazy about it. Then they have these uh, special people that guide the cargo ships through there mm -hmm. just for that. Yeah, I know. Only, pilot ships. They have to stop. Yeah, the pilots get on only at this certain canal, and they get off as soon as they get past this certain po certain spot or however I read it. Mm -hmm. It's like, how did this really happen? Uh -huh. My buddy that was sitting next to me goes, dude, I think it's a setup. I think they knocked it down purposely. There's something that doesn't make sense. Right? How can it that just blindly run into it? For a boat that lost power, there was smoke that came out of the smoke shaft. You know, and it, it, yeah, there's video of it when it hit. And there was a, mm -hmm. yeah, no. <laughs> that boat had power, trust me. It may not have been responding. It may not have, you know, had control of the boat. Yeah, but when you see it coming in, when you watch the video of it, it's going pretty good. And then all of a sudden, it just veers mm -hmm. to one side and hits the piling. And the whole fucking, from one cement yeah, here to the other went. cement here, hey, gone. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I just took that far right. How are you doing? <laughs> He's up there showing himself. Yeah, he's gardening. So but I those things a, don't turn mind. on a dime. So from Man, when you saw it here off, so that turn was initiated long before that point. Um, hey, did Joel ever tell you what train uh what Chernobyl was? Red Red Primo? I can't keep up with him. Yeah, I said it was Black Rack and Jack the Ripper. It's train wreck, Jack the Ripper, and Trinity is what it actually is. Got you. We need to got any, huh? Yeah, Joel's been around for a while. North Star Genetics, man, they were around with TGA and Miss Jill and Subcool and all them and fucking the Mendo Dope Boys, all those guys. It's like, yeah, he's been around for a while. It's awesome. I was, I asked him if he was a breeder and stuff, and he's like, yeah. And I was like, well, I'm new to the new to this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I felt bad after you talked about you know 25 years. I was like, I don't want to insult you or anything. I was just asking. Sorry, man. I knew. Sure it's best to ask questions, bro, because if you don't, you're never going to know, bro. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's, yeah I was always, uh, that's one way I was always taught is uh, just ask questions. It's better being told no or not asking. Or like I say, when they say no, that just means you got to find another way to get to yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's funny, Grumpy. Damn, Weed Monster, it's been a while, man. When I saw you pop out, I was like, oh, dang, look, Weed Monster. He got on, uh, after I got done showing my garden, I can show you, you want to see some plants, Grumpy? I got some uh, Captain Redbeard genetics going on, and I got my little own breeding project finally going Captain on. Captain Redbeard, uh, <laughs> right on. He's, yeah. uh, Captain, he's out Oregon. He's been a uh, he's been an Oregon breeder for the last uh, 20, 21 years. Two thousand. It was right around the early two thousand. I know Captain Redbeard and and uh, the Oregon kid and all those guys. I'm in Southern Oregon. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I'm, I've been, I've been around from. I've been around for a little bit. I just keep myself quiet and stay at our farm. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what I do anymore. Just stay to myself. Right. 
Hey, yeah, I'm trying to be like grumpy, man. I'm gonna to to get me a fucking farm, move out the country too. <laughs> and we are no way. I'm I plan on. on. I'm ready to go. What do we do? The back, the uh, dual wide. Will that be better? You're, you're muted, Chris. All right, I guys want you to notice one thing. We're we're gonna look at the murderers uh, in the in the cities and everything. All right, so check this out. I want you to notice that there's one thing going on here. Check this out. All right. What the hell? Who just did that? There we go. There we go. Check this out. Here it is. St. Louis is number one. Damn. Baltimore is number two. New Orleans, number three. Detroit's number four. Cleveland's number five. Las Vegas is number six. Kansas City's number... Seven Memphis is number uh, I think it was Memphis eight. is number eight. Let's see, uh, nine is Newark, and Chicago is surprisingly right in the middle at the number 10. And then it goes to Cincinnati. Wow, two cities in, in uh, Ohio. Wow, in the top 20. All right, uh, Philadelphia, Milwaukee, Tulsa, Pittsburgh, PA, Knox, nice, California. Was one of them Dayton? He, was one of in, the in, in Ohio Dayton? I guess. No, no, Pittsburgh, uh, PA, uh, uh, wait, Indianapolis, Louisville. Oh, look, the first California city and only California <laughs> city, Oakland, California, 18th. And then Man. we go 19th to Washington, D.C. and Atlanta, Georgia. To me, what's surprising is Ohio has two of the top 20 murder, murder uh, uh, things. And then, wow, that's... Outside of Cleveland. And, so, outside of and, and Missouri, too. Cincinnati or got St. Louis, Missouri, and Kansas City, Missouri. Man, that's crazy. Crazy. Hey, that's where's crazy. That I'm around it. Where's it at? Mm -hmm. Ohio, that's, Cleveland. That's crazy, dude. Chris, what's up? What cities are they in Ohio? What's the name of them? I couldn't read. It. Cincinnati, Cincinnati, Cincinnati and uh, Cleveland. Oh yeah, Cincinnati, and Cleveland. Yeah, those are. I believe it. I guess yeah, right Cleveland in the middle of them, hot. right in Batavia. Yeah. Cincinnati is about. As Cincinnati is about 15 minutes from us. Cleveland's about two hours. Yeah, that's why I thought Dayton, because they're right above Cincinnati, right? And uh, that's where all the strip clubs were. When I used uh -huh. to drive through there, Dayton was really bad all the time. It was always, like, cops and drugs and, like, always something. Every time I was cruising through, there was always something, like, some bus bumping off. like. Uh -huh. And those yeah. are per 100,000 people. That is per 100,000 people. It, uh, so 69 people, or is it, was it, yeah, 69 people per 100,000 people in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, and, uh, and so forth. And so, you know, like in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, is 33.7. I don't know who is a 0.7 uh, a person, a 0.7 of a person, but okay. It's weird. It's a teenager, right there. I don't know. Yeah. So. Chris, make them big. Yeah, so make oh, them sorry, cool. sorry, sorry, sorry. I got oh, sidetracked. You're, you're good, Chris. Yeah, I appreciate right. you for just yeah. having me on the show. Here's my uh, here's no my problem, first uh, little. You're part of the community. My first, here's my first breeding. little uh, breeding part, breeding project, Grumpy. It's a uh, bubble goat. It's bubble goat times. Uh, well, Terry. Cherry Paloma times bubble goat. Nice. And that uh, good. JR Token and I called it, uh, we're going to call it Cherry Bubble. Nice. Looks looks real nice. Yeah, it's starting to stack. It's starting to put on some heavy. It's starting, it's starting to get yeah, heavy. starting to put on some girth at least, huh? Yeah, even a little, even the bottom branches are. It grows yeah, like, like an Afghan yeah, animal like the, the way it rolls all the way down. Structure, yeah, like those yeah. skull balls everywhere. Yeah, that's an interesting. Uh, I like the structure of those big nuggets like that. Yes, yeah, I trained this plant and it turned into a run on me. 
and I, I, I guess I was like, let's get. I had some cherry palomas from my buddy Dark DNA Seeds, and I was like, I like this. I like these two cuts, cherry paloma. That's one of my favorite smokes, and bubble goat, one of my favorite smokes. I was like, let's just see what they are. They're both fire genetics. Let's put them together, see if this run I have some colorful color come out from the cherry paloma because the cherry what's paloma, the bubble goat is it bubble gum and golden goat or what it's a strawberry bubble gum times golden goat oh gotcha yeah golden goat's a big colorado strain i got i got i've smoked it grown it and i have i have a few packs left that's where uh i got uh that's where i got these seeds from was uh ross to jeff up there nice to my first uh my first ever uh, competition last year with his lemon Jeffrey, and I played. Oh, the 12. lemon Jeffrey is fucking out of sight, dude. Yeah, that's one of my little energetic. If I want to get motivated, I'll grow that one around. What do you got in the ship boxes right there? This one's uh, what I was telling you about the Captain Redbeard. These are Captain Redbeards. This is a. Uh, Chocolate, his chocolate mimosa. Nice, chocolate mimosa. Ooh, she stacks. She snacks really good all the way down. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. Oh. And this one, uh, this one ain't oh. a Captain Redbeard. This is a Josh D cut that was gifted to me from a buddy in Colorado. Nice. It's, uh, GMO times OG Kush 96. Wow. Going to have those little golf ball buds everywhere. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a 10-week strand, and it's uh, six weeks old. So we'll see if she puts on packs a little more, if I'm going to have some golf ball little buds. Fuck like yeah, to it's going to get harder and a little bit thicker and bulkier, but it's going to uh, be all golf balls. Yeah, it's all the way. Well, Even, it looks like golf balls now. You probably have by week is this? By the time it's week, done, week you know, six. Baseballs, maybe some softballs. You know, hopefully, I like those structures also for drying a lot. It's a lot easier that's than my, those giant donkey dick colas. And yeah, well, was, you know, I always get a lot my, of fucking uh, me. problems sometimes with humidity and finding some mold inside those buds if you don't dry them right. God, it's like it's maturing pretty fast. But these, uh, these. Big fat softball nose. I never have problems with those. That's good to know. I hope they. I just want them to get a little bigger. You know, like. Uh, yeah, they will. Right, right now, they're about. They're like. Eh, How, like many that. How many weeks? How many weeks you got left? Uh, four weeks. Oh yeah, yeah you're getting twice double in size in four weeks. Yep. Maybe triple. Yep. Oh yeah. You know, shit. I'll you know, be able to put my straw, my little strong net to hold them up then. <laughs> Then if I come I come on this side, Grumpy, this is a is a CM champion cut. Uh, this is a 2007. It's 2017 or 2014 uh, Oregon Cup winner at the high time. Oh like yeah, that's one. Now you don't get. I know you mentioned uh, strong tent, strong nets and stuff, but do you uh, you do any low you know low stress training or? Uh, my little baby right here. I stress. Yeah, I stress. I stress. I trained. Uh, let me. Where's my pop? Okay, I ain't super, gonna keep my pop. You know, super cropping and stuff, bending over branches. Yeah, my. Uh, I like oh. growing my little watermelon. See, so you'll you'll oh. uh, from what I, from my experience, you'll 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 that receive looks nice, more. even for a little guy. You'll you'll have more increase in yield and size on those buds on those stems in particular, the ones that you do that to because they 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 can take more weight and more girth. Gotcha. You know I mean? So that's always uh, something I recommend to guys uh, to you know I always do it in uh, veg a lot. So when before I flip the flower, you can't do yeah. it. Yeah. But if you do that, I've noticed my yields go up big time. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, super cropping oh, all my plants and and. Uh, and veg and then flip them to flower and uh, the ones that i the ones that i don't do it to are always less vigorous than the ones that i do it to you know so it's definitely a, a game changer that's crazy because these two right here i super cropped the hell out of them and look how vicious and big they are yeah oh yeah that's what yeah there and you i go. guess i tied this one down i trained this one i didn't super crop it or anything i tied 
I tied my branches down to my pot. And it's just, it ain't even close to, but it's a 10 week strand. So it could pack on, hell, maybe week nine it might pack on. That's pretty right. decent right now. It's Coaster Kush by Helvet Genetics. It's an old oh, yeah, Coaster. Yeah, something it's special. Gonna, it's going to still pack on some weight still, for sure. My centers came up real nice, too. I like. This is my seventh throw. I guess I get a little excited about different uh, different methods. For sure. That's what it's all about. Until you incorporate your own. You know, you, it's like uh, going to a, a gambit of uh, tools and you just pick all these tools, what you're going to use for the job. And it's like you got this huge gambit to choose from or you can switch up different styles or you can use this one or that one or that one. Find out what works best for you, you know. Gotcha. Yeah, these are earth boxes. That's uh, that's great. That's, that's, that's the awesome. game. That's a big game changer for me because I was having... I was having a hard time watering when I was first starting out. And I killed a couple different plants. Here's my uh, Captain Redbeard like hat. All my containers are basically earth boxes. Yeah, buddy. Except for uh, I got a couple of those big uh, build the soil ones, you know, the outside the big, the big containers. But even under those, I put water reservoirs and stuff in them to kind of turn them into a earth box too, you know. Let's see. I might be able to stay on. I love these uh these earth boxes so much. Uh, my girlfriend's dad, uh, he introduced me to me. Then uh, me and Jeremy, we started talking about stuff, and uh, I guess fall, fell in love with them. Man, I want to do. Uh, I may just hopefully I can stay online to show you guys outdoor this new uh earth box I made. It's a 25 gallon uh, drum, and I put a I put a the on the bottom of it. Let's see if I can turn my. Hell yeah, yeah! I made a bunch of those, man. Mostly five gallon. My little, I this is my first little homemade earth box. It's a twenty gallon, right twenty on. gallon pot. Nice. And no, we're. Uh, that's awesome. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, I had an extra drum just laying around, so I cut that drum. Why not, right? Yeah, the self I water. There where you guys could hear me. Game changer. I'm right now, sounding drunk. Definitely. So what the heck you got growing on now, uh, Weed Monster? Oh yeah, man, I got a bunch of shit growing, dude. I've got um, I got some cherry pound cake. Uh, nice. I got to see what I got here. Gangster, got those look cold. fucking great, bro. Great job, man, for sure. So this is a uh, Girl Scout cookies uh, gelato. This one here in the front. I'm getting ready to move it into a three by three and then flower it out. Uh, then, nice, uh, looking beautiful. This one over here is a. Uh, let's see what we got down here. It's the uh, yeah, that's uh, this is the black cherry pound cake, and this is the uh, what is this one? The uh, yeah. Girl Scout cookies up here. This is a Guerrero Blaster. Fucking Guerrero oh, yeah. Blaster. And then I got a. This one was the uh, another one quitter hitter number. That's one of that's one of the one quitter hitters. That's the number two one quitter hitter. The number one that is that, that's the one back here. The one quitter hitter. This is a uh, the one that we said was like uh, showing more of the Star Dog. Uh, traits, right? That one. And then I got a, uh, it's probably one of the hardest plants I've grown. This is a nutter butter from Humboldt Seeds. Huh. This one right here. I and just harvest some, brother. I just harvest some like of that. Some, I like some Humboldt. Yeah. I haven't grown their gear, but. Yeah, you're going to like it. Right on, right on. And uh, then I got another one quitter hitter over here. And that's the uh, one quitter hitter number three. It's got the big fat leaf and the little leaves. And uh, yeah, that's about it right there, man. I got a bunch of clones in the other room. I got a tent. I took clones of everything. Got about nice. 20 clones. <laughs> he was yeah. busy. That's looking nice. 
Yeah, I need to get a little turbo cloner, man. I need to start getting a little more into that. If with my breeding project going on, I gotta slowly do this. Then I'm gonna do uh, if that. Turns out good. I plan on trying to cross it with uh, Tiki Madman's uh, Candy Rain times Apple Mint, which is uh, nice. Candy Rain times a uh, apple fritter times a uh, Kush Mint. Nice. I'm going to back cross in thin seeds. I'm going to hit it with rag male pollen, but I plan on working that. And that's going to be my, that plans on being my little cut. Hell Tank, yeah. care what you up to, brother? What's happening, Grump? What up, brother? Tank, what up? What's happening, guys? What's happening? How's it going? Jeez, Man, it's been a minute. I you know. doing good? Yeah, I'm doing all right. Just been busy because had some sunny weather, so I've been working out in the yard. Hey. Weed monster, what, what size of tent is that? Heck a ten yeah. by ten? This that's a uh, four by four. Oh, four by four, gotcha. And she's packed full, man. Totally packed. Yeah, I, th I, th I thought I had mine packed with uh, nine plants in here. Well, it's one of those uh, tall ones. It goes up. It's like uh, uh -huh. eight foot eight. I think it's like oh yeah, you know, really got that it's all the way up to on the it. And then I, I got I got two of these. I was gonna put the other one in, but um, I don't know. I might just put a three by three in. I got I got like seven tents, friend, from the other house, and I'm like, Man. Uh, <laughs> I was like uh, just picking. I got one in the bathroom. I got like a two by four in the bathroom too. He don't have to worry <laughs> about splint picking, does he? <laughs> No, I, I usually go about halfway, and then I flip it to flower, man. I, the addiction I, is I real. Just fill, I just fill up the whole tent, man, before I end up, you know, I do all right. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Got no complaints. I'm not wanting for anything. Yeah, I did a four-week I did a four week veg on these guys, and I just flipped on the flower for this competition. They're smaller plants, but they're putting out some decent-sized buds. Hell, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. Kind of like you that, running in there. I I got that's a uh, HGLG Diablo the six fifty with the UV bar and. Uh, oh my. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be for like a five by five and shit, and then I when they get I don't real feel big, bad I, now. What? I got a, a spider farmer three thousand. I throw on the back there when I flip it the flower. Nice for the, rock the same light. The, uh, about midway of the bar to get all the lower canopy and then it just shoots up this way so then uh, i got it coming this way so it's just shooting across sideways across hitting all the under under stuff so i get to go up pretty high with it nice <laughs> hey monster we're running the same light no shit yeah that's a great light man i love it I got, when I got, do you turn your uh i got a spider farmer uh four thousand in the uh in the three by three and it's supposed to be for a five by five too but that thing that's what i'm gonna put this through i'm gonna in, in a few a few more gotcha. weeks get ready to put it in there so but when yeah, do you got, turn your uv light on what's that your uv light the uv light it runs yeah, all the, it, it runs all the time in there it runs oh the, okay yeah i don't it, it doesn't have a switch to turn it on and off uh indirectly everything just comes on it it's it's one of the first ones that came out is that a 30? Is that a UV 30? HLG 30? Yeah, uh, the HLG uh, 650 Diablo. With oh, the, I was talking about your UV light. Oh, the UV bar under there. Uh, oh. Honestly, man, I forget now. It's been so long. It's got, it's at least 30, yeah. You say 30 or 50. I don't know. Whatever they make, they okay. sell it separately. Yeah. So I think you can yeah, now. Uh, but, you know, that's all you need. I got some one. power, huh? So you think I can just throw mine on now? Cause I've been worried. I've been, I've been uh, not. I haven't turned my UV bar on yet. I yeah, well, I, I think so, man. I put it on there if I were you. Definitely for the last four weeks, for sure. If you haven't had it on there this whole time, I, I've run nah. it all. Day. Uh, these guys are already starting to flower. Uh, I mean, they're showing traits. They're trying to flower on their own, right? Gotcha. But uh, yeah, they're ready to flip really soon. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to get with you on that. Do you got like uh? You got like an Instagram or anything? You post your pictures on there, or you got a no, different I media? Really, 
I do, man, but I haven't really been very active lately, dude. Honestly, I've been, I had a lot of other shit going on, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, and I, I just haven't been on there in a while. You know, I do have a, we, I do have a one. Uh, I think it's, um, it's the same thing. I got a few of them, but, uh, yeah, weed, my, I got one weed monster one. Okay. I'll get with, uh, I'll get with Chris on that. He probably got you on there. Yeah. I'm definitely, I, I, I think, like yeah, we're, yeah. I'm in, uh, you can look in his, uh, friends or followers or whatever i'm definitely on chris's uh board and uh yeah man you hit me up anytime man i'm always happy to help out a fellow bro with any yeah, i've been uh info. Been stressed about this uh my buddy he uh he wanted a coyote my buddy he wanted a coyote gun so i had a coyote gun it was a 900 hundred dollar gun and stuff and he traded me a scorpion diablo light and a uv light and I've been a little scared to turn the UV light on because, heck, i only been able to turn my uh, ATLG 650 up to level 3 in my 4x4 because I was bleaching my plants on uh, anything higher. So I oh, yeah, no, I run, I run uh, yeah, turn it down to the first notch. And then just, I always just run it, I always run it low, man. I never, I've never run this thing at full power. I run it, uh, I raise up and down the light. I got, it's hooked up on the 4 I got those four, you know, I got four uh, of these little guys, right? I just lift it up and down, press this little button, it slides it down. Uh -huh. those, uh, uh, the, the, you know, the come along ratchets, these little come along pulleys. And you can gotcha. just lift it up. And, so I just raised up and down a light. And that's how I, um, because I what I use is like, um, what's it, Dr. Mike, Dr. J.J. McKaiko or something, Dr. Coco, Coco, Doc, I forget, or one of those guys that do the uh, reviews on the lights, right? Dr. Uh, MJ Coco. There you go. That's the guy. So him and, uh, was it Justin Time Grows? I think I was checking them out. They were doing the reviews on the lights, and they were showing, uh, you know, the P the, the PPD and everything. So I got uh -huh. all the different, the distance from the canopy, right? 24 inches, 36 inches. Tells you how much the uh ppfd how much you like the dli you know your daily light intake and all that stuff gotcha. so you know all about that vpd and dli so just to keep all that dialed in if you keep your razor uh your light up and down it's much more beneficial than uh just to run your light at full blast and burn your plants that's what happened to me but you know you learn like everybody else learn right the hard way yeah, right? yeah i put it back down uh, i'm only running my uh, light on 20 percent. i was thinking about another week maybe turning it up to 30. yeah definitely uh you know you're talking about your ones in flower right now yeah oh yeah you definitely want to get it up to that first notch you know how you can turn it and it goes to that first notch that's half uh -huh. power. that's half power that's half power so that's you're only pushing out like 325 watts or whatever at that point and uh it doesn't even seem like it's halfway right because it's really it's only like a quarter or 30 percent of the way when you turn it <clears> yeah. first click that's where mine's at and it just stays there all the time and i just raised the the uh the light up and down from the canopy like this light was all way down here at one time you know and i raised yeah, it up with the plants you know as they grow i raise it so yeah man and and that's what i do man and uh yeah yeah, I mean that's and that's how you can judge it in the future. You know, you just watch them and then you just keep it twenty four inches, whatever from the from the canopy, and just keep raising it up the whole time. And yeah. it works great for me, man. And uh, yeah, yeah, they look nice and full. Oh, it's healthy in there. Right on, right on. Yeah, they're they're happy. Like I said, they're in. Uh, it's all I use. All, I build all my own soil. Craft builder. I build it. I buy all the stuff. Heck you know, yeah. Down to earth, and I get. I bought like you know. I bought like every box that down to earth made right <laughs> of every Little everything that they make right and i'm like all right yeah. i'm gonna take a quarter cup of everything and throw it in here <laughs> yeah mix it into the soil you know then throw some worms worm castings in there and let them go to town for a couple weeks and then start planting i got a corner uh corner toad i guess built some super soil the other day and i got two worms in there i'm building it up it's gonna be my right. outdoor uh, 25 gallon pot yeah, I quit doing the cover crop inside because uh, the canopies would always fill out and they just, everything in the bottom would just die. <laughs> all the 
all the you know the clovers and everything which they were uh, pretty resilient they were pretty resilient i had some clovers that like stretched out like six feet or three four five feet man it was crazy they, damn. they were trying to find the light right from underneath the canopy they were like uh -huh. coming out of the pot and just like going across the damn tent i was like damn <laughs> <laughs> you know there's like, clovers, like chop and clovers. drop right <laughs> Heck yeah like, huge long you know vine growing off that damn clover yeah. That's like bigger funny. clover in your uh, in your tent than my uh, food plot for my deer you have. Right on. Oh. <laughs> Say hello to Chop Chop. That cat just gave him a right. <laughs> yeah, they don't, they don't fuck around. It's pretty funny. I watch these guys. They be going at it. <laughs> but they play. They love each other. They sleep together and shit, too. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Y'all are funny as hell, man. Yeah, my pit bull raised, or my cat raised my pit bull. <laughs> That's like Mason, my cat. He's yeah, uh, raised, he's raised my two dogs. <laughs> man, I think I smell some Mexican IBL in the mail or something. I don't know. What's that smell? <laughs> <laughs> 23 days, brother. Leonard, uh, Leonard, wait, Leonard Skinner. Ooh, wait, 23 man. days and uh, 420 is coming up. So that would be good 420. That thing looks righteous, man. That thing looks righteous. Dude, I turned that good, bro. I like that fino. I like that fino, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use that one a lot. Nice. I got the clones and uh, it looks pretty, bro. Nice. Um, yeah, I just transplanted you stuff. Uh, uh, I'll show it to you in a minute. Cool. How are you start doing? My stuff's doing okay. I uh, it's it's definitely frosting out, but it's not filling out. I think I I think I pollinated too early. Uh, but we'll see. It might it might still fill out. I did that with that yeah. bubble goat. Uh, not trying to interrupt. I did that with that bubble goat on week three. I pollinated her too early. I didn't see nothing curl. So week four, I pollinated her again with Cherry Flow, and she took week four. I got seeds coming out for sure. It's just it's not filling out. The buds aren't filling out. I'm like, ah. Shit. Why? Why are you guys doing it at week hey. four, week three? Uh, why not like way until so fucking she might way later? Nah, you had to do it early. I thought it was after I, 21 days, right? I usually do at 23, yeah. 23, I pollinate yeah. all the time. 23 between 17 and 23. You males will drop pollen at 17 days. Yeah. So, if you wouldn't have a male, in nature, wait, hold on. Wouldn't in nature, it would drop pollen for more than that, though, right? Wouldn't it drop pollen from? In nature, you get females that are flowering at different times and males flowering at different yeah. times. They're, they're mm -hmm. staggered. They're staggering the pollination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, I got so four males it, outside. I'll show it to you in a minute. Okay. Yeah, I got that West Corey, 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 brother. How's it going, Corey? How are you guys? It's been it's been a minute since we've had nine people on like this. <laughs> well, I saw yeah. the Brady saw the Brady bunch form and I figured it was finished it out. <laughs> I got a male. Dude, I got a male one quitter hitter outside, man. I got it hidden over here behind this tent and some shit. I'll show it. I got it hidden. <laughs> Thing is, man, says FC, FCP like three laughing. or two. Since we had nine people. Yeah, I'm Good. about to hit the post office and drop some more mail on uh, THC Garage too. Hey, I appreciate that, brother. I got the clone, so I can go to work right as soon as I get it. I grew, yeah. this, I grew this one a bunch of mushrooms in a mushroom compost. Curious, I'll be curious to see oh, what nice. you get. Like it. The that plant like did not like it. Oh, no. Oh, it didn't like your mushroom compost? It was too hot. Uh, yeah, it was too hot. I, I, been, killed, uh, yeah, I killed it with the, with the heat. But I was like, fuck it. It was sitting for weeks. I just like I thought it'd be all right. It'd been rained on a bunch of times and shit. I was like, I thought that'd be all right. Yeah, that's super critical. Super critical. I have and turn in the other tent. They both loved uh, my substrate because I guess uh, my mushrooms when they're spent, my yeah. substrate when it's spent, I'll just throw it in my compost bin or I'll just throw it on top of my plant. Yeah, soil. Right 
yeah, I think I just had put too much in that one because uh, gotcha. when I, I, I take a bunch of, of the little stuff, you know, when I when I'm when I'm harvesting my mushrooms and I uh -huh. take off the when I rip, rip off the mushrooms out of the soil, the little soil bits that have the soil and the my, my you know mycelium attached to it. Uh huh. I'll bury that into the pots, and then I'll get a little. <laughs> Now and then I'll get a mushroom every about day three. I four. finally found somebody that does the same like method as me, man. Like it's crazy you're thinking saying that because I do like the same thing, but I just throw them on top of my soil. I don't bury them, and next thing you know, a week or two later, some mushrooms be popping up. I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, I always cover them because on the I always got I got a little compost layer on top of my soil. You know, it's real real fluffy, and the worms are usually in there, and uh, the cocoa core, cocoa core and stuff, the mixture of vermiculite and perlite and yeah. pumice and all kinds of crap, but uh, sandstone and all that shit. Uh, got, I went, I went to the beach, you know, and got all the sand and the seal, different stuff from the beach, and then ordered a bunch of clay balls and clay, and mixed it in there. Got all the sand, silt, clay, all that whole. Tried to build the whole horizon system in my pots, you know. Heck yeah! And add it into the. Uh, did you rinse your? Uh, did you rinse your your sand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I rinsed it. Uh, well, no, I didn't rinse all of it. I rinsed some of it. Uh, some of it I just put in there. The sand I took uh, from. So I took some sand from, that was actually. Uh, I walked out into the water and took water and sand, and brought that whole thing back and dumped it into my Hell. dumped it into my compost pile and mixed it in with all my stuff. Right. Along with like seashells and rocks and shit and just everything from the beach, um, fucking crab shells and shit. I was finding these horseshoe crabs. <laughs> you probably filled your pockets uh, while you were walking the beach. Seaweed and shit. <laughs> I I go down to uh, I go down to Florida every year. My sister, my sister's got condos down there, so I go down there every year. And when I go down there, I fucking uh, I like load up buckets and uh, the, the the buckets of shit, and I bring it back. Nice. I can't believe I just didn't think of that when I was in my aunt. Clearwater. I was just there two weeks ago. I should have put up a couple buckets. Oh yeah, Clearwater's yeah. cool. I, I was down in Clearwater. That's awesome. I've been to Clearwater. Oh yeah. My I friend lived, uh, my I friend is Sierra. I was uh down there in like ninety eight. Ninety eight, I think I was down there and uh I was uh I was trucking and I had got laid over for the weekend. I was there all weekend and uh Friday night I went down to uh the strip you know i was like where's the strip i was tied at the truck stop and i was like hey man wants to go out we got like three or four truckers we all jumped into a cab and we took from the truck stop down to the strip and uh we we're all just hanging out partying drinking and shit and all the bars they had no windows no doors or nothing everybody's just hanging you walking down fucking the, the boulevard and people are you walk by all the businesses and bars that normally have windows and doors there's no windows and doors and shit and i was like what the fuck you know, they Damn. got doors, they bring out wooden doors and they lock everything up at night and they put stuff up. But when they open up, they take these big wooden doors and windows off and it's just like all open. Everybody's partying and shit. It was like beach life. I felt like I was in the Bahamas or something. Ended up meeting these dudes that were really cool. They're like, man, you don't got to sleep in the truck. Come back to our house tonight, man. Hooked up with these dudes and these chicks and shit. I ended up leaving the other three truck drivers that I came with, went, went off with those dudes, stayed at their house for like the, the whole weekend and shit. We were partying like, Went to the beach, had barbecue. It was awesome, man. I had a great time. Clearwater was a really cool town. Hell yeah. Yep, I can smell them now. I can smell them now. <laughs> <laughs> smell them Dude, now. It's right. insane, man. It's just crazy. Yeah. Let me show you these mails. I was like, I have a hard time to choose. So you guys might have to. Hey, we got to make Green Fingers dogs bark because you was talking about a giveaway. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> Every time the dogs are barking. I already heard them bark like three or four times. Oh, that's three or four giveaways. You better get going there, bud. Yeah, yeah. I, wasn't giveaway. Tired, I didn't realize that's what it might have been somebody else's dog. So, I mean, I can't really say it was his. I just heard a dog. Yeah, it's probably somebody else's dog. It might, it might have been mine. When I walked probably, out, probably, probably mine. <laughs> and my dogs are sleeping. Right on. Yeah, when I went yeah. outside, mine barked. <laughs> Hey, Hera. Is that Green Fingers? Did you say my dogs are sleeping? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, that's right. Give away. That's why that's up. He's like, yeah, my dogs are sleeping. Good luck trying to get my dogs to bark. We could do a giveaway, though. It's <laughs> the giveaway thing, ready? Right? Too funny. Hey, John, if you're in the background, man, I'm sorry. I still haven't sent your package. 
She's still waiting. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, Green Fingers, don't you it's got coming. that big-ass yucca tree behind your house, man? What, 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 what happened? Don't you have a big yucca tree behind <laughs> oh, your house? You bad. We spoke that the no, other day. not yucca. I thought you had a yucca tree behind your house. No, it's what, to me, it's no. real soft going, and it's not like man, real powerful. Those things are taking off already. Dude, yeah, it's been in there. Uh, put them in there uh, last last Sunday, I think, about a week ago. Which ones are those? Looking good. Oh, uh, this is the Westport and the Twin Peaks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, look how much they grew. Dude, do you want to shine with that? I mean, it's, it's yeah, nice. he's outside. It's yeah. I always, uh -huh. I always it's throw my mouse right? outside. I always throw my mails outside. I always Watch put them in the ground. Oh, is that the Westport grape juice mail? Yeah, as uh, this one is the uh, this one is the Westport, and the one in the back is the Twin Peak. Oh, nice. And the one over there, the one over there, this one, this one is Panama Red, and this one is uh, uh, a Slimer signs, a Mexican ABL. Uh oh. How's that panel hey, back in your house? You that thing going on in there. What was that? Sorry. You're gonna stick your uh, your your Panama red inside your house? Did you stick that outside or no? Yeah, this is the clone. Remember, I had it inside. Yeah, it was happened? a male. It was a male, so I clone it and I put one clone here, and I got three more clones inside. Oh, but my males, I always try to put my males in the ground. Always, if I can. Yeah. I like to I like to fly more outside. Yeah, get that DNA. Yeah, I like to, you know, kind of climatize a little bit. Yeah. Right? But look at the structure, man. That's another gun. Yeah, that one's looking really <laughs> nice. Heck yeah. That's the Twin Peaks. So yeah, that's looking this really one is more like, more bushy, more stacked together. Yeah. It's like more compact into it. But like, I like the structure of that one a lot more. Oh yeah, that one's nice mm -hmm. looking. That big one. Uh, that's another guy's thing, Rick's, bro. That thing you touch it and it's the, the whole house will smell. Uh, that's yeah, another that's like, structure that my pineapple yeah. has. This one right here. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I like that structure a lot because it holds weight mm -hmm. pretty good. And this is the toilet he's gonna get. It's like it was like two uh, 28 inches. So, yeah. And it's already stretched. You can see forming the, the ball sacks already trying to get it. Going on, Jesus. I see you in the background there. Yeah, your Mexican IBL is a Oaxacan, right, uh, THC? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start popping some of those here pretty soon. Yeah, those uh they're ready to go, bro. I climbed it for a heat in Oklahoma, so they can take the heat. They eat a lot. Yeah, I'm mean, next full moon I'll start yeah. popping some seeds. Yeah, they're um You're resistant to mold, right bro, here, resistant so to heat, here. the drought. They don't mind the drought, bro. You put that thing in the back of water and they will flow. A week before <laughs> the next full moon. A yeah. week. No, really, it's pretty, pretty good string, and uh, uh, they have to. There's a little more to choose from. You guys see the the different phenols in there, so I mean, it's a little more to choose from, and that's the one I send out. So you guys get more, a little more hunting and choosing yeah, to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. But shoot, if you already did a bunch of hunting with those F twos, I might as well try some of them too. <laughs> Yeah, the original yeah. stack is more, it's more, uh, it's more, uh, the topping profile is, is a little more, uh, compact, you know what I mean? Bottleneck. Yeah. But you will find that chocolate in there and the espresso okay. and, the, and the, all, the original stack that I send you. You gonna fill out that whole box, THC garage? You gonna fill out the no, whole box? No, I usually, I usually put two here. I only allowed to have six of them. So I only put two here, two over there, and two over there. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I know you only got two in there, but I mean, are you gonna let them get really big before they go to flower? When, where are they going to flower anyway? Are you gonna they're ready on flower, bro? Oh, it, we get well. eleven hours, eleven and a half hours right now here. Oh, so okay. as soon as I put them outside, nice. they're, they're ready. Now, on, now, how do you flower harvest mode. the pollen? Right on. I uh, just cut the whole plant and put them outside, inside, and dry them out. All right. I cut so. the whole stick. I, I cut the whole stick out like the same as the plant. Yeah. 
before they open up. Yeah. If you put the plant on water for 24 hours before they open, you will still drop pollen. You know, but you have to have that. Like I cut it low and put that two inches in the water oh. and put it inside. And what I do, I collect oh, nice. the pollen into, into this big uh, container. I, I have this container that I wrap around it and the pollen just fall into it. And I just pick the whole thing up oh, really? and I just collect the clean pollen off of it. When you get and to that point, I'd nice. love to see you do that because I, 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 uh, oh, yeah, me too. I grow my males outdoors and then I pick them and I put them in a milk bottle filled with water. And, uh, I have a, a shower upstairs that I don't use. I line it with parchment and put them up there. But I'd love to see how you, anyone else yeah. does it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I do the same thing sometimes. If let's say I just want one, but one branch. I just get yeah. that and put it in a cup of water and I just, oh, nice. well, actually I use bottles because you can tilt the bottle 95 degrees and let the pollen fall and wash and pray for it or whatever you want to put it on. I oh, used nice. to like, I used to like the bottle water because you can drill a hole in the 95 degrees and the okay. plant where we shoot it now 95 degrees. As soon as the oh, flower, okay. the pollen just falls straight into the paper. Okay. That sounds yeah. like I, I, I do it. Oh, I do like it when I, I show you guys when I, 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 I mean, it's just a little trick, yeah. you know, that I can contain it. And if All I right. really want to do Enough it. Enough of your giant plants. Let's wow. see some real plants. Uh, All right. Let's this. do this. Look at, look at these <laughs> giant <laughs> ones. These are huge. <laughs> I'm, I'm finally growing again, man. So, you know, yeah, I'm really I got excited. Like that. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. Non-frosty looking stuff. We got to show yeah, some frosty. So this, one, so this one really smells gassy. Uh, that one really smells gassy. This one smells like lemon pledge right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You can really smell the stem rub on it right now. Go ahead. Uh, stem rub it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm not, no, no. I can't show you right now. Can I show you the stem rubbing right now? That would be a little awkward. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, these are doing great right now. Um, this is this one right here is a dog. That's a lemon. lot. So it's gonna be a nice harvest. So, so the right. cilantro is the cilantro is popping right here. Cilantro is popping over here. You got the cilantro popping. Yeah, how's the uh, stem rub right on this, the cilantro? Uh, really, so really, really cilantro. -y. Absolutely none. Absolutely none of the uh, sour diesels are popped. None of Damn. them. Only one. Only one of the uh, of ham f f twos have popped. So only one. Um. So yeah. That sucks. Huge they took a little here, long, longer. The Fermanda Pams took longer. <laughs> Whoa! 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 Holy Toledo, Batman! That was that was a uh, ear piercing. Was that you, Tank Chair? Nope. Oh. <laughs> we know you got my was. ear. <laughs> hey, <I'm> gonna... <laughs> <laughs> blow my ear out right <laughs> that was, that was... Ooh, let's see tank shares that was really nice look at that beautiful mm. getting frosty beautiful fun. but which one is that man? which one is that oh that that's not mine that's tank shares See, they didn't, well, they, didn't, they didn't really fill out much, but they're they're super frosty and they got seeds already growing. Oh, uh, what are they again? Uh, uh, cheddar skunk, cheddar bush, okay. and my open IBL. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's really stacky, bro. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's stacking. <laughs> Look at this that. Thing, this thing kind of got elongated, but it's finally starting to fill out a little. It gets thrown up, dang. Let's see this one back. But I only got them in little tiny pots. Like, that's a half a gallon, maybe. No shit. 
So I gotta I gotta keep on my feeding schedule, otherwise they, they start lacking. But these down here, these two little girls so I had I had two pop up because I lost the seed and it popped up in the same pot. <laughs> Hell yeah. both, both being females, they're almost identical. They're both just didn't see that frost. Did you hit both of those? Yeah. That's the cheddar skunk. But they're super frosty. Is that like a man, regular, they're putting some trichons, man. It's getting trichon up. Look at that. Yeah. Is that like regular skunk that rails. Skunk number one? No, this is from my IBL, the skunkier side of it, um, which is from the biker, biker IBL. Oh, man. But um, Those, That's what I'm popping in the summer. It, it, smelled like, yeah. it smelled like baby poopy diapers. <laughs> Oh, oh man. yeah, man! I mean, that is the tur profile I've been looking for all my life. Yeah, right. I got something for you too. That <laughs> when I send you your stuff, <laughs> baby booby <laughs> diapers. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 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 check this out. Uh, back in the day when uh, my uh, first kid was born, um. We were eating that microwave popcorn and shit, you know, that uh, Blasto butter microwave popcorn and shit. Good stuff, good stuff. Best microwave popcorn uh, in the aspect of if you want some junk food popcorn that's greasy and and very delicious and everything, that's, that's the one you want. All right, so yeah, anyway, that being said. Popcorn, man, it's got a bunch of EOC, I, all those forever uh, chemicals. Yeah, yeah all those. Exactly. Plastic. That's what I'm saying. So check this out. This is what I'm talking about. So I'll get to the end of the story. Long story, long story. Long story short, my wife was breastfeeding. My wife was breastfeeding. And my kid's shit smelled mm. like that fucking popcorn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I like uh, that kettle. So uh, we stopped like eating that popcorn right then and there. We stopped kettle eating corn. it, and we, we yeah, did corn. not. Wouldn't stop smoking it, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't stop Make smoking it. Was kettle. this mine? Yeah. Every time kettle. the kid's shit, he's yeah. like, do you smell popcorn? Shout out uh, to kettle corn. So kettle my wife's corn. right here. She'll corroborate it. I love that. When, when. When uh, we you were breastfeeding, so what uh, you're saying is there's no need for animal testing. We just need to do diaper testing. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh -huh. Like I said, <laughs> like she was breastfeeding uh, my my son Josh, and that popcorn smell went straight through him to him. <laughs> and yeah, through the breast milk, the blast of butter. See, she said exactly the one. Um, went straight through the through it, and it was uh. Yeah, dude, don't do that. Don't. That's not natural. You should not be fucking smelling blasto butter through your kids' poop that your bre your your wife's breastfeeding. Okay, that's a little weird. All right. The blasto butter smell in the poop. Blasto butter. The globalists. They're trying to kill us, man. Fucking globalists. They're trying to kill us. <laughs> You know, Chris, I'd be more surprised if you said you continued to eat that popcorn. No, no, we, we stopped eating it right away. Like <laughs> that that time we were done. We were I mean, like, Ooh, dang, after that's, smelling that's, it in the diaper, I'd be real shocked if you said you were able to eat it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and, and we, we the reason why we found we found out this is because my wife and we both brought it up to each other. And we're like, hey man, do you notice when uh when you eat blasto butter, when we have blasto butter and shit, the <laughs> baby's food smells like it? And she's like, I do. <laughs> I was all like, oh shit, yeah, no more blasto butter. That's Yo, some bad you. shit. If you if it's going through yeah. the breast milk and it goes into the poop, that's more than likely not healthy. <laughs> <laughs> At all. <laughs> Those turp profiles, you do not want. You do not want. I mean, it wasn't a bad. You don't want to I mean, it was so horrible. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. happens to baby poop? 
They're gonna try to kill us all. Yeah, I got a I got a couple clones of cheddar skunk. I'm gonna throw outside and try to veg them out and clone them out. See how they do outside next. I think they're gonna be nice. Cause I'm running barrels yeah. in that tent. I got like hundred watt, hundred watt fluorescent, hey. small pots. How much? How much of this you have left? What? The the Yandy. Not nice. very much. Why? Oh, oh. he liked it. Oh, he no, liked no, 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 no. I want another bud because I feel like this one didn't have these ones didn't have any smell to it or anything. And I just want to make sure that it wasn't yeah, that it was just, your smeller, buddy. I don't know what. No, you're... I'm serious. That's what I'm saying. It did not have any turp profile or smell. Oh that's what I'm saying. God. You, you better check your smeller, man. No, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. I want smeller. another. I want <laughs> another <laughs> bud of it. I'm not. The, okay, it well, looks I'll good. Tell you what. I'll tell you what. No, Chris. it looks good and shit. It come looks up, good. Come up if you come up and yeah, 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 yeah. You can bring me some of that. No, I'll probably. Will. The, no, no, I the re, yeah, because look, I still have some right here. Look, I still have some, but and I and you I cracked it all no open. To it? No, no, I, that's oh, what I'm saying. That's what, what I did. Blood. That's exactly what I did. I'm fucking trying to get a good smell out of it, and there was no fucking I smell. Agree, it was Kanger. pissing me off, and I just wanted. I want to make sure that how, it wasn't it, just that, no. bud. How did it smoke for you? Throw it away into the compost. Not very gun. good. Like it what? was. It, it. No. It really. That's what I'm saying. Um. The the trikes were there. It looked like and shit, but it wasn't uh, like. I'm thinking it was this bud. I'm thinking it was this bud. That's what I'm thinking. Think it was this smeller. bud. I think no, it's, no, no, I think no, it's no, no. smell. Because that bud <laughs> no. smells like freaking pleather. No, that's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. I think it was this bud exactly. Like you know how a piece of fruit, like sometimes one piece of fruit doesn't uh, doesn't carry over. Maybe something. You know, this probably was. what it is is you got it in a plastic bag. You ain't got it in a jar, so it lost all its terps. You can't no, no, I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, fucking crap about that's what my it, herb, man. Hey, hey man. Hey, no, I was. This is not crap about your herb <laughs> at all. Uh, I want shit. you to know that he's on here complaining. No, he does. He sounds like right, fighting man. word. No, I just want another fucking. I want another butt of it because I like, feel I like that. Was that the Yandy? Is that the Yandy? Yeah, the Yandy. Yeah, yeah, the Yandy. Yeah, man, that thing was heck of chemi freaking pleather smell. That's what I'm saying. I didn't get any of that. It tasted like when I when I got it right away and I smoked it, and I was like, oh, I'm not getting anything out of it and stuff. And that's why I'm saying I think it was the, the bud that you gave me was uh, was not like the ones that you had. Like this was a lower, 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 inner, lower. But it was a faulty nose. Uh, Let's try it again. It, you, yeah, that, you tried to pass <laughs> off on me. Miller's broken. <laughs> is it that no, broken? No, you no, no because all the other ones, they, everything else you gave me, except for the Yanni, <laughs> was, was <laughs> really, really dang. Miller's broken. So, if my smell was broken on, on that one, so you, could, <laughs> yeah. smell the, you could smell but the I would CBS like to return this one. I would like to return yandy. this one and, and and get a, a different bud so I can have Good a better trade in. Uh, <laughs> I, got trade trade in. In. I, I know I want to give it an honest. <laughs> I really want to give it an honest review. I really want to give it an honest review. I'm going to give it a better fair shake. Yeah. Yeah, that's why uh, I want to give it a more yeah, fair of a shake. Weed. <laughs> Tank chair said, fuck that shit, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, nope. No. That's what I'm saying, man. All, all his other butt was fire. Okay. It was only that butt that particular. He gave it that like, particular two, you know, two the buds. John Yeager didn't hold flavor butt. very long either. It, it tended to, hold, to lose it pretty quick. <laughs> oh, did it? Yeah, because when I got yeah. it, it didn't have any kind of. It was kind of like, and then it was. It didn't. Well, I don't I, know. I didn't, but I, 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 I kind of passed I it off. It the, I didn't treat it real well. Oh. It kind of got C4. I put it in the ground, and then you know, I grew it in full sun, and and uh, you know, it, it was really stressed out. I mean, it had to the point where it had 
uh, red stem. Uh, and, you know, Tony was, was like telling me, oh, it's not a good red sign. You know, it's not a good stem, you know. I think the Yandy yeah, but it's, that's why I thought, yeah, indoors kinda, and outdoors by, by a long okay. shot. I grew the exact indoors same. Indoors and outdoors? Inside and outside. Yeah. What is it? It grows, grows yeah, way better indoors. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, that's another thing that you brought up, those uh, coloring. Yeah. I got uh, I got some stripes on my uh, on my stems on the on the one quitter hitter. Is that uh, genetics or is it, a fo no. is it a, I got a phosphorus yeah. deficiency? That, that's hop laying viroid. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm burning. You haven't been here, so. You haven't been here, so we had, I had to get you on that one. I'm sorry. Let's yeah. go. Good luck. Here you go, Corey. Say what? Here you go, Corey. I didn't for you. Here, I'll for you. For you. I got uh, to get took him away from me, Chris. That's nice. <laughs> that was like that was like the last thing on earth. He just got. Oh. Uh, that was okay. a good one. I'm not trying to interrupt, but uh, thanks, Chris. Uh, yeah, I'm going to jump off. You talk about the, the Hey, bro. It was nice to see you. Nice All right, to brother. meet you, bro. Right on. I Cheers, appreciate you, I appreciate you, Chris, for having me on the panel. Hopefully, I can jump on more and meet you guys. No, dude, more you're, more. You're, you're awesome. welcome, right too. Right on, man. Hit me up anytime, brother. Good meeting you. All right. Sounds good, guys. Anytime, I appreciate brother. you all. Cheers, brother. Later. See you. Yep. Yep. See ya. Thank you. Yep. Thank so. you. Have a great day. That you're dying. You know, Weed Monster, you mentioned the, the red stock, and uh, there's a couple of different causes for it. You asked Tony about it, and he has a lot more knowledge about that for his genetics. And, uh, well, it's just striping. It's not really like the whole stock isn't red, but it's just like uh, like pin striping on a, you know, on a suit. It's just like I got calcium it, hole. Right? It's a, it's it's a, a calcium like, hole. I had it one like, like that. A purple, more it's like more of a purple than red. It's like more purple. Almost like almost like a purple variegated stock. Yeah. Yeah. That was now, the Mac are the pedials, uh, purple also. What's that? The cordials. I, I mean, asked if the petioles are also purple. Petioles. Or the oh. petioles and the veins and the leaves. Yes. Yeah. So it is foster. So it's what? Phosphorus, isn't it? Is that what? Is that? Uh, that's what I'm getting. Um, no, um, no, Chris. It's like so. So the one my, my experience with the uh, uh, Gandhi was could have been phosphorus, and I I I maintained that it was the heat and heat stress, but Tony maintained that it was phosphorus, and because I never tested the soil, I can't dispute it at all. Um, but I had yeah. another plant on the opposite side of the garden that had. Mm. Uh, the pinstripe variegation, it's not like the whole stalk was red, like, like the, on the, from, from under Pam and, uh, it was red, the entire stalk. And so is it on the Durban, but on the vice versa, I yeah. had red streaks or purple streaks. And, and then the petioles and the veins and the leaves were, were red. And that was a plant that also had lavender flower and it was the vice versa. I don't know if you can see oh, this. Wow. I think, I think it's phosphorus, but I was just wanting to say maybe it's genetics. Sometimes it's genetics, right? Because, like, these you little, said, ones, these little yeah, ones. It can be get genetic. Closer, get closer, get closer, get closer. The Keep little going. ones. No. Yes. But these no. Are. Too close. Too close. Too close. Too close. <laughs> Way too close. Well, that was yeah. fun. Hold on. He'll be back. Oh, not that button. Uh, your your camera went off because uh, you're too too far in. Fuck. Hey, Joe. <laughs> there you go. Black <laughs> it out, man. Hey, hey, Joe. How you doing? Hey, hey Joe. How's it going? Yeah. How you doing, bud? I didn't know he was here. Yes, I yes. Just he just got here. I've been hanging out. I got a lot of work to do, so I've been. Getting stuff done here. Right. Listening, listening to you guys and watching the wild man from Chicago come on without a beard. Which is <laughs> I don't know where he is now. He just disappeared. I miss seeing him ride that electric scooter across. 
Did he ride an electric scooter all over the damn place? Yes. 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 He he was doing that. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, well, I took some of that red runts, man, and it, it messed with my it messed with my chest, man. I better not smoke any more of that stuff. Dude, it does that to me too sometimes. It must be that BT. No. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Dude, it does that for me too. It's Bless fucking, up. yeah. That super sour runts, yeah, it fucking gets me going too, man. That's why. I was saying it's fucking potent. It's potent. Very, very potent. And it does that. Yeah, that's funny that you say that. It did that to me, too. Yeah, that BT, man. Watch out. That BT. Uh, no. yeah, uh, that's the that one you stoked after with the BT, right? No, no. I stopped doing that, uh, like, how many weeks BT before, like... Smoking. Like three or four weeks before, because he was to say he dipped it on it. <laughs> he yeah. dipped his buds in it before he smoked it. He watched his buds in BT. Yeah, he's like, he's so giddy. He's fucking bro. Yeah, that was the only. That was the only thing I did. I made sure I did it mid afternoon when all the bees were out. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So. First thing, know, squirt, first thing in the morning and afternoon. First thing in the morning and afternoon, squirting the bees as they're coming by. <laughs> they're like, I'm seeing a lot more cabbage earlier in the season than I have in years past. Yeah, yeah. me too. Me too. But, oh well, I ain't spraying. I might have to bust out my butterfly net. I I did. What what do you what do you know do that and uh, just for that proteins and and I did harpin proteins mostly for the bug resistance and I'm probably gonna do the same this year but I might do a control of of uh, not doing the harpin proteins on something. And uh, not, well, I hate to, to not do BT if I'm going to commit and do it. Thank you, Gary. BT is going to fuck up those caterpillars. Yeah. Yeah. That, it's right. too and cold it, for caterpillars it, up by you, huh, Corey? No. Say it. Yeah. Say it again. <laughs> yeah. I didn't hear what he said. What did he say? He said it's probably too cold up there where you're at for caterpillars, huh? We we get caterpillars, but we don't we don't get very many of them. Yeah, they're not missing anything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're 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 frozen right now. There's some frozen caterpillars right now. I got a we host of my, my own problems here. Yes, here's Red Primo, high in the hills. What's going on, man? Good to see you, brother. All right, man. So anyway, yeah, I'll just throw, I'll just hit it with some phosphorus tonight. In a few days, I'll figure it out. I was just curious if any of you guys that grew that noticed that you guys had like pinstripe, fucking purple stripes on your. Yeah, on my on my Mac One Space cheese, I did. It's not what he's asking. (laughs) So, so it might be just a color thing, or it might also be. It might be uh, a variation of that space cheese, right? No, that's what I'm saying. It could be. No, but but uh, <laughs> but it, it, it can no. be a special hey, response. I said, I said, I said, no, I said no. Mac no. One Space Cheese no. is a wonderful Chris. grower. Chris, Chris, you're talking <laughs> out of your ass. Stop All right, so talking Corey, you grew the uh, you grew the one quitter hitter, right? I, I got the I got the breeder clone, and there's no red in it at all. All None. right, cool. I figured it was phosphorus. Hey, this motherfucker's eating a lot of phosphorus. I'll tell you that, man. It's just fucking gobbling this shit up. Yeah, yep. a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of boneyards gear eats a lot of phosphorus. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, I figured that's it had I to be that. that. I wish I did. You you know, your, uh, I, I never have any you phosphorus your problems you with uh, your pH in your soil. Royal gold What's soil that? and their royal gold products. No problems. Except for with uh, Mac One Space Cheese. Yeah, that, that one. Sense. That one was uh, very, very red. But every Mac One uh, I, I've seen cross has looked like that though down there. Yeah, but the they're not 
in the dungeon there, Joe? What's that? You're not down in your dungeon? He's in Florida. Oh, no, I'm hey. in Florida. Oh, not nice. in Florida. We're just uh, we're working on cleaning up stuff so that we can leave tomorrow. Uh, yeah. To oh yeah, we've had a nice trip. Best birthday I've had in a long time. My son flew out all the way to California. He stayed with us cool. for a long That's time. Great. And we miss the hell out of him. <laughs> That's really cool. He's like a spark plug. He keeps us in a whole different way. Anyways, good birthday, good time. Glad they came. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's what's up. Now we just gotta gotta clean up our mess now. That's all. <laughs> reduce <laughs> reduce the carbon footprint, man. That's what I try to do. I try not to leave any carbon footprint. Go. Reduce the carbon footprint. <laughs> I feel weird being all the way down here, and I'm, I don't get to see why or or Frank. But I'm so far away from this, it's weird. So far, but so close, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know, so you get to the West Coast, and you're in the same uh, state, and you're in uh, California, but it's okay. It's a two-day drive. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't laugh. laughs> I can't right. Yeah. yeah, when you're in California, you better expect to drive to see people. It ain't going to be just right around the corner unless you're in SoCal somewhere. Yeah. I know. That's Peter sends like out those notices for his Tuesday night hangouts, and it's like, dude, I'm like five hours away. <laughs> hey, Siri. How long will it take to get I'm from Fort Garner, Florida, to Tampa Bay? About 48 hours of driving, 50 hours. No, man, it is not that far. Shit. <laughs> you gotta go across Alabama, Louisiana. You gotta hit fucking uh, New Mexico. Uh, then you gotta hit, they right. gotta go through fucking, uh, you get Arizona too, or just uh, California right there? I forget. Yeah. You wanna go across I 10? Yeah, no, Arizona. Yeah, you gotta go through that Arizona too, right? So I mean, that's a long fucking way, dude. I'm telling you, I've been there. I used to run across there all the time, and you gotta hit those fucking uh, checkpoints that got set up across there. Well, don't don't forget if you're going I-10, you're gonna hit New Mexico, and then you hit Panhandle, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you, it, it's a long ways. Yeah, so I mean, you gotta go through all the way across because you're gonna go through Texas and hey, all the Siri. That go through yeah. Texas. And how, how many miles is it from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando? You son of a bitch. Hey, Siri. How many miles <laughs> is it from Fort Lauderdale to Orlando, Florida? I'm going to say it's about 2,000. I'm going to say 2,000 miles, maybe 2,100. Maybe hey, 18. Maybe 18. Where would you say you're going to? Orlando? Yeah, that's at the top. Maybe not. It's probably like 16 or 18. Right. Three Maybe closer. How many miles? I don't know. Probably closer. <laughs> to I Whoa. guess in 19, 19, that's my final guess. 1,900 miles. <laughs> 300. <laughs> What's the answer, Chris? 1,300. 212 miles. There we go. Wow. I said 300. Yeah. 212 miles, my ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're talking from, about, from Orlando, Miami, Florida Miami? to Fort Lauderdale. Oh, I Three thought you said from California to fucking Florida. Oh, no, no, no. That's going, a lot farther. 200 miles. Yeah, Here's 200 like miles this. is a bit. That's a long way. way. I got one and day and come back like three, three hours, hours. three, four That's hours. A day trip. If I used it, Debbie wouldn't be able to go anywhere. And that was the whole thing just was no. So <coughs> it's okay. Last year, Y came down here, but uh, he was working around here and he didn't have two kids to look after. So I'm not going to try to hook up with him too easily. 
Hey. Hmm. So no seed giveaway, huh? <laughs> yeah, I was just down in Florida too. I was in Kentucky. I went down to Kentucky. Oh, no. I went down to Chris Kentucky. Is not bro. doing nothing about it. Christmas comes up. Deer, some antelope. Oh, oh, oh. Still alive. Giveaway. Still Hold alive. on. Let me do some. Let me let me do something. Let me do something about it. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> and then the show's Ladies over. And gentlemen, you know? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is that <laughs> time of day. I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys Peace have out. a wonderful have a day. day. Peace Patreon. out. Hold on. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Patreon. Patreon. There you go. This one, if you want to buy me a coffee, there you go. That's the one for that one. And that one's for that one. It's in the link. Check it out. Go over there. Get me a coffee. All you have to do is this. Uh, all you gotta do is just go onto the thing. Click a screenshot. I'll tell you when. Right about now, or now, or now, or now, or now, or now. <laughs> Send him a million now, dollars. Never. Or now, or now, or oh, now. Okay. Wow. No, okay. And then, and then. All right. So go over there and do that. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Later. Okay, that right there. All right, all right, all right. I'd like to thank my Patreon subscribers. Okie oh, Grower, Joe Good No. Why? Red Primo, Corey, Heritage Chucker, Big John, Big T. Brian F, Zimmer PT, THC Garage B Allen, Oki Grower, Joe, you know why? Red Primo, Corey, Eric Tenchucker, Big John, Big D, Brian F, Zimmer PT, THC Garage and B Allen.